All right, we're all good? We're all good. All right, before we get into it, we have much to discuss today. Let me quickly, uh, quick, uh, some housekeeping quickly before we get to all the others and with some big news. Harry Minahan uh, will not be here. Scared? Uh, well, no, what he said to me was after the Josh stuff last year, a couple of years ago, he trusts Steve, is what he said. <laughs> ah. So I don't know what he meant by that. It's all you just came there, just said it to me, went back up. Interesting. I can't figure out what that means. Huh? I can't figure out what that means. Yeah, well, you people know. Uh, well, no, no, Dave, that's that's, that's a joke, obviously. I don't, I'm nervous, obviously. Some now. inside stuff. Well, unfortunately, now we, you and I, Mike, have to navigate what we say going forward. <laughs> and that's the life of how it is now when you've got, and this has been trademarked, so I'll say it once. It's trademarked by a different spelling by Jerry Callahan, but cancel culture culinane. Right. Uh, flows. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, Jerry doesn't spell with a C, but. He still trademarked it, so it's a battle. So, unfortunately, it's going to be Davey cancel culture here <laughs> yeah. going forward, which is fine. <laughs> now, look, whether it's uh, uh, Kevin Cullen, uh, Mike Salk in the past, uh, Keith Markovich, I've had some kills. Sure. So now, Dave, you can, you know, congratulations. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. Boston, it's Wasn't safe my... to turn on the radio again. <sighs> it was crazy before. <laughs> All I'll say is, Megan Adelini, sleep quiet. <laughs> No, keep your head on a swivel. Well, Man, yeah. yeah. Right. Dave could be you, coming for you, you too. You never know. Andy Gresh. Exactly. Mm, Man has no loyalty. Well, anyway. baseball classic, he, just be careful. Christian Fourier, <laughs> as always, be very careful because right. you never know. He's always listening. He's always recording. Yeah. And he's always tweeting. <laughs> can't so wait. It's, he just can't wait. I, I would even say, like, great move. Ultimately, by me to t tell Dave privately, you can't go to this barstool dinner a couple weeks ago because you know that recorder would have been. Oh right! Oh, no interesting question. Oh, did Portnoy say anything off color? Well, we don't know now. We uh, would have. I if have Dave no, was I mean, it, 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 rap lyrics, I, whatever. Yeah. I have no idea. We were all doing it. <laughs> it's yeah, you know, right. Yeah, I mean, Brandon yeah. Walker's. I mean, everybody was. Right. You know. 20, when, put it this way: twenty dollars is, is code. Cullinane was nice enough to pick me up this morning. He had literal blood on his clothes. Yes, I was like, "Where are you coming from?" <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, the good thing is the guy did to it, like, isn't like, you know, sick or dying or anything. So it's like, you know, it's, <laughs> it's like, to me, like a class. It's fine. It's fair, yeah. fair sport. Uh, Colony's logic was he only has a few minutes left right. anyways, you know? What they should do going forward, we'll get into all of it. We have a lot to get into with this because Dave Colonnane, on his own, yep. uh, brought, completely with nobody else, brought down Tony Maserati. Activist Dave Colonnane. If Maserati, I think Maserati makes, say, 650000 a year. Sure. Because Colonnane put that tweet out. <laughs> Tony lost, say, $15,000. <laughs> like, you cost him $15,000. How does that make you feel? Going forward now, I think on that show, Jim Murray now has to be like Meathead. Has to be like Rob Reiner to, How? to Tony's Archie. Like, he has to be oh, the liberal. Oh, oh. I thought you meant he has to go on air and thank Dave Cullinane every day for no, that, opening well, that seat. Well, that's well, yeah. I, we'll find out. He's a friend of the show. I know that. Well, I spoke to some people at 95 who had no, amazingly, had no problem with what Dave did. I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know what well, that's good. about. But anyway. Good, good, good. So, a lot's happened since Monday's show. Uh, the truth of it is, and it hurts me to say this because I would really like to blame Dave for this entire thing. Dave, now Dave does have a role because he put the audio video out there. Sure. I would like to take some credit for this, but mm. I, I have really nothing to do with it. Yeah. This is all uh, somebody who I like, who I have argued with uh, uh, during the Aaron Andrews thing. I remember we had a long phone conversation. Christopher Gasper. Yes. Yes. Is completely as they. The Globe people always are to blame, Dave. They ah. mean the Globe people, Dave. Oh, we figured yep. it out. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Oh, very good. <laughs> are always to blame for this. No, I actually like Chris a lot. He's a, I, I've always got along with him. He's actually, I, have you ever met him, Mike, or no? Uh, no. No, he's a good, he is a good guy. And I think, like, I, I he, he, so he did it. So this thing, as I told everybody, I could jump up and down, wave my arms, do whatever. It didn't matter at all. It didn't matter at all. Chris tweets out a bunch of things where he said, "Hey, I like Tony a lot, uh, but I, I was uh, I found I, somebody sent me the the video of it." He then said that the, he actually blocked the person who the video came from. Dave, did you see this? I sent you this message. You, he blocked the person he blocked you is, is what I oh did. he's always blocked me. Well, that was from it, the past, and he said it was from oh. somebody who Chris said he suspected was the same in nature of some of the people who were being critical of him, meaning ra meaning racist. Oh. Yes. Oh, Jesus. So Dave called me racist? Dave Colleen, who was fighting racism, <laughs> so do you is think, also being labeled a racist. You oh, think this is disgusting. Dave kind of heard the footsteps on him? Look at the text him. I sent you from that, Dave. What's that? I thought that was a different text. Maybe oh. Dave heard the footsteps of someone exposing his racism and said, I know what to do. Throw some To be fair. Some, throw some poor schmuck under the bus. If you're homophobic, that doesn't mean you're racist necessarily. No, it's a different thing. Yeah, I mean, the, it's, the hate is in his heart. Right. I, just, I didn't think it was, I, I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Oh, sorry, I did miss that. That text. 
don't know if you saw my name was like everywhere all over the world yesterday. Yes. So I just, it's tough to keep up. Like when I was, I, I'll say this, deal. like when I was with Dave at the mini golf tournament, we were, we were playing, it was hot and we walked up to it. Uh, it was near the bathroom and Dave looked at me and said, they have one water fountain here. <laughs> so I don't, and then he just walked away. Yeah. So I don't know what that's about. I don't know what's in his heart, but all I know is I don't believe Dave Cohen, just like Tony Maserati. I don't believe in his heart. He's a racist. But that was like from some dumb clip referencing Kirk and Callahan. Okay, don't, that. don't, yeah. don't, do, 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 we don't need to spin. Fuck Dave. that guy. Yeah, we don't need to spin. Oh, oh, well, looks like he's in trouble. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice? Because he's got this like long standing rivalry with Whitney. Did you notice? Colin ain't following Whitney an extra too close, you know, like bumping into him. Oh, for sure. As if maybe he was recording. Oh, no question. And, no. And trying Watch to, out, Ryan. And by the way, Whitney is absolutely, all kidding aside, I swear the life of my children, convinced that Colin ain't is behind this whole, like, all of a sudden this bully guy started telling stories about Ryan Whitney. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, the bully guy who says he bullied Whitney. Whitney yeah. believes that you got You're that behind that. You sent them some information. You knew something. It, well, I did it, remember, that in you remember. What? I did that in what, like 2018? I'm just saying that's what Whitney said. I don't know. Remember when it was brought up, Dave was like, yep, I know exactly what you're right. talking oh, about. Oh, I had it ready for yes. sure. Yes. So, so uh, Gaspar has this whole tweet thing, which, you know, he says, oh, you know, I really like Tony, but this was definitely racist. And it's, you know, you can't be doing this. Da, 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 da. Now, that's fine. Like, he obviously, it's his prerogative to tweet that out. Once you tweet that out, though, like, now you're a, a, a black guy who works for the Globe, who works at 98.5, uh, basically condemning him for this stuff. It, totally, at that point, is a dead man walking. Right. Uh, Maserati does his apology right after that. I think it's within, like, an hour or two. Yeah, it was, it was Gasper. Then it was the Boston Herald article. Right. Then it was Maserati. Which was basically off of Chris's thing, right? Yes, I yeah, so, so I mean... You know, my hands are clean because certainly, yes. Well, I, all I know is I know how Chris saw that. Right. And now with video, what me watch taking that video? I know that. <laughs> That's right. Uh, CCC is how we is how we do it here. DCCC, right? What's that? Is that Davy cancel culture? Davy? No, it's no, it's either cancel culture colony or Davy cancel culture. DCC, Davy cancel culture. No, you don't get to name it. CCC, not sure. Well, He's big tight. He doesn't need you now. He doesn't need your little <laughs> true, ideas. That's true. I'm that's taking true. over outside the lines. That's that's Are my new on role. There? Yeah, that's my new role. Is that on outside? Was on outside the lines? Uh, no. It's oh, not outside. it might be. Who knows? I don't know. So Maserati has an apology that, in one word, was pathetic. I will say, yeah. like, uh, you know, I still have the greatest apology of all time. Although Tony was suspended in the way for his apology as well, but you know, uh, like he was like cry he's crying. He's like. Duh. I mean, don't say like, oh, in my heart, I'm on the right side of it. Just That's what I don't like because it makes you sound, I always say this, when people say like, I've learned from this, it means what you're saying is I was racist and now I'm not. Well, I think <laughs> like, I, I, like, we can debate this because I, Jerry called me yesterday, I'll fire it up because yeah. I, I. We do like, have a guest, by the way, just so you know, in the background, if you ever want him. Okay, we'll get yeah. to him at some point. Yeah. Um, Like Jerry's thing is like, ah, you know, he would have said it if it was a white, like he wouldn't have, like he made the joke because the guy looked like. He looked, it's an, a joke based on the old stereotype. We've all made dumb jokes. He yeah. made a dumb joke. He got caught for it. Somebody caught him. Somebody's always watching. Right. Yeah, there's a vigilante out there. The dark night, uh, the, the, the <laughs> light night, the night. <laughs> Definitely they, white, yes. A night. How's that? Yeah, uh, yeah white night for sure. <laughs> Is watching it and recording it. But like, let's be honest. Like, if that was a guy in the business suit, a white guy in the business suit, Behind, would Tony have made that joke? I don't think I clipped no. it. No. I, I probably don't even clip it at that point. There you go, Dave. Yeah. See, good. It's good to take us yeah. behind the scenes yeah. of how it works. Just letting you know. That does it work. Yeah. How many, when you, what's the first advertiser you call? Smallest <laughs> to biggest or vice versa? That's not how Oh, it's unbelievable how he does it. I'm not an activist. I'm a journalist. I'm a journalist. Oh, it was incredible. I hadn't been, I hadn't been to, uh, uh, Sherborne in, in months <laughs> till the other day when Dave brought me, brought me into his cave. You he said, and Bob are working the phones like, you wouldn't believe the amount of calls they make. You said Maz probably lost roughly 15,000? I'll say, I'll just say this, Mike. I was like, I walked in there and I was like, oh, Dave. And Dave's like, Kirk, Kirk, hold on for a second. We got Fred C. Church on the line. We're going to take them. We're going to take these guys now. It's like 99s? Yeah, how's it going? Like, let me play a little audio here. The audio is bad, but let me send you the video. You're not going to believe what this guy, you won't believe it. Well, the raid is out there for a hit, folks. 15K is all it'll cost Dave Conan. <laughs> Who's next, Dave? I'm always watching. Yeah. These yeah. ears, they might be small, but they they pack a mean punch, don't they? They sure do. They sure do. And I like Tony. Tony's a sweet guy. And, I, and like, here's the thing. So, I mean, do you want to play some of his apology? Go ahead. Yeah. See if you can, you know, we, we have to clean up something from Friday. We had a bad moment on Friday afternoon. And so we just want to clean up that little bit of business. they credit you for this at any point? I don't think they did. No, they didn't. That's not right. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> I'm sure Maz has muttered his name a few times. Uh, oh, it sounds like uh, my Maz, it seems like my sources, plural in that building, 
are like, Maz is just mad. At, like, he fucked up. Like, he's mad at himself. Like, he well, said something stupid, which, he, I mean, look, we've all, I've done it five million times. He said something really stupid. I believe his apology in this sense. I oh, believe, I believe, like, his, I believe his apology like, totally. He's like, why, the, why did I fuck? But I don't know why it always has to be approached like, I... I've done some reflecting and I think, why can't because, you just be like, I just feel I, I, because, because I can't believe guys, I said that. I'm because, a fucking idiot. Because for guys like this, they've never been at a moment like this before. And the world, they think the world is collapsing around them. They yeah. really do. And everyone's saying they're racist and you feel like shit and you have management and everybody. Po- and now there's an activist group, not just, not just merch and cull. Right. Merch, <laughs> merchanane? Mer- what merch? do you prefer? What looks better on a t-shirt? I work alone. <laughs> How is Gabe? I mean, is there, is there like a, is there a, how is Bob? Is, is Bob okay to work with or no? I've never talked to Bob. I've never worked with oh, Bob. Oh, sure. Right. Yeah. You just kind of learned. I've called him before, but I've never personally spoken. But you told him. me you were offended the idea that he's some sort of, you know, force or something. Right? No, you're offended by He that. doesn't get anything. Yeah, no, it's probably know. more like you're influenced by Howard Stern. Dave watched from afar and right. gained similar traits. Sure. You know? I would think so, but I know yeah. he uses his cave for it. That's for sure. <laughs> Merchant was always a calling in guy. It's true. That's very true from that's day a, one. That's a fact. Yeah. Which you got upset about, Dave, if you remember. I do, because you were going to put on a shirt and it was a dumb idea. And that's my money you're making. <laughs> Dave's like, oh, you think, oh, you didn't put that shirt out? Well, I have some audio from you from an old 2012 show that you were doing solo. <laughs> Let's just say, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't want that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have that out there. That's where all that, that's that the, the uh, Twitter account that exposed Portnoy is probably calling in. Oh, for we sure. We always wondered who it was. Or that one that we thought was Murchison, remember? Resist, uh... Yeah, remember the one that we thought was Murchison, too? Yeah. It was, yeah, it was definitely Colonnade. Yeah. It's all Colonnade. Mm. So, all right, so we'll just... Yeah, get you... Let's, I, I, I understand what you're saying, Mike. Yeah. Um, And that's why I went in that day. I was feeling particularly combative. I was like, I am not going to really apologize. Now, I went too far, obviously, with the Arne Andrews thing, but... No, but, but, that, but that's but, what but, I'm saying. But, is, but, but you can't They're both win. extremes. But I'm saying somewhere in the middle where you're like... When I hear it back... I don't know how I thought I would not sound racist in that moment. You know, yeah, just, like, just, you could just say, look, I made a really dumb joke. Yeah. I feel like an idiot. But the problem is, here's the problem, though. I've been in these situations. Management, that doesn't satisfy what they feel like they need. So for Tony, it's going to be like, well, now you have this activist group that's part of it. And who knows? Like, you know, I think Tony's biggest fear, if I were Tony and Dave, you might want to start. They have, I don't know if their DMs are open or not. But if like, and these things take a day or two, is like if a Jalen Brown quote tweets it you know what i mean like a prominent black athlete oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and is like and is like oh, well it was picked up by a big personality that i saw who's that i don't know quite how to pronounce his name i believe it's ray santiago oh jesus is that true <laughs> yes did he really yes. ray santiago did yes, ray did. santiago That's right, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't think he was like a real guy and then all of a sudden he came out of nowhere but imagine if jalen brown is like boston or whatever and just like you know just like this is why this is why people hate boston then right. he's fucked so it's it's a impossible i saw a, in context, former, a former patriot notice it who's that i guess they've been critical in the past of kyle van noy and he noticed it yesterday oh what he had yeah. to say uh, he just did like an eyeball emoji because i think they shit on him a lot but that's what yeah. i mean like it's just that so that's, that's the other problem is like all the other stuff now you know th- this is all what tony's thinking when he's doing this and by the way i think he genuinely feels bad yes yeah. i've been in this we've all been like we're in a different situation here like we're fucking around when we joke around about stuff like that obviously it's a parody of, it's it's a whole bunch of things yeah but you get in the moment, you're joking around, you feel loose, you're having a good time, and Tony makes a dumb joke that, that he doesn't really mean. No. And, but, you know, none of that matters because, it, and I, honestly, like, if you want to do the blame pie, obviously Tony's saying it, Colin ain't recording it. But Chris tweeting that, if you're saying, why is Tony suspended right now? Whatever you want to say, if Chris wouldn't tweet, if Tony didn't say it. But after Tony said it, Chris doing his tweet thing buried Tony. Yes. Buried so him. Why not do it on the show? Chris? I'd be like, hey, I want to call in today or come in studio. Well, I think the same, but I, but then it's just then it's just as bad. Like, it is it? Oh, of course. See, you not, have, then you have video. Then you think? Have, you then you have. A, then you have, yeah. Oh, th- once once Chris decided to do that, I don't know if he if he thought this is what would happen or not. But yeah, I think and Twitter be, is always the worst option to have anything happen like that. Whereas if Gasper's in studio and they're talking about it, it's it doesn't seem it just, as the problem is that either way it brings attention to the clip. Which again, yeah. why does a clip exist? Well, mm-hmm. yeah. We Again, radio, no one would have noticed, I don't think, if it wasn't for... I only go Southern Radio. I think this was off the air. <laughs> How did you so do that? Thing. Yeah, that's How what did I did you think. figure that out? I can't believe... I mean... Do the, you think he had that... I believe he had the apology ready, but do you think that the he was, like, waiting to see if anything I, would I also, happen in the Gasper thing? No, it probably maybe, hand? but I also think, like, you know, he's actually, all kidding aside, I, I like Tony. He's going through some stuff physically, I think, and I think he was emotional. And, like, yeah. you get emotional in those moments when... 
Like, I think he really does feel bad. So, I mean... Absolutely, I, yeah. But I don't I don't think anyone ever feels bad enough to have a tearful light on. This is not the man I am, and it's not the man yeah. I'll be in the future. It's just not real. No. Why well, like, I think, well, think he got emotional, and then he, it was just hard for him to recover at that point. If you're talking to anyone honestly, especially someone that grew up in a racist town like Boston, sure. everyone's made a joke like that. No matter how much hate is or isn't in their heart, got that, Dave? people have made dumb yeah. jokes. Yeah. I have. I'm only me. I, only Mike Geary has made a joke. Do you have those, Dave? Oh, no. oh, and here's a all, compilation. <laughs> Believe me, we have them. It's yeah. when I have the very good show gang on. Yes. I, I, I want to fit in. Yeah. <laughs> but, like... People make jokes like that all the time, so I don't know why we have to pretend why the, it doesn't well, yeah. exist. But I also don't know why, like, the Jerry's of the world are suddenly like, this is not, he would have said this if it was, he wouldn't have. Like, that's the No, that, unless there's some context we're not aware of, but right. they would have said that. I and think. that's not, and that's the joke, whether you like the joke or not, that's why he made the joke. Like, that's the joke, and I think he's probably playing on an old stereotype as a joke. Yeah. And, you know, Felger is like, Blaming himself. Felger, I think, did nothing wrong in the moment. He tried to move, keep it moving. I, I think he pivoted very quickly. Yeah, I don't know what he's yeah. supposed to do. He, like yeah. I said the other day, you can't pause and be like, Tony, that's an insensitive comment. Let's let's ponder why, yeah. we're, why we're doing this. I so. did like that. I'm always surprised because I think Felger's going to handle it like a stiff radio guy. I feel like he's more natural than I would expect in those moments. No, I thought he was very good. And yeah. I thought he was good. Yeah, I, I saw some people giving him shit yesterday because he said that Tony made an insensitive. He, like, you have to say that now. You are now in the point where you're trying to save Tony's job. Like you can't, and that's what it is. Even if we're laughing at it, it's an insensitive joke. You know what I mean? Like, even if it's funny or whatever. Yeah. That's yeah, what it yeah, is. Sure. You know? I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, do I think anybody's actually offended? I, you know, I really no. don't. I don't. I don't mean to speak for Chris Gasper, but I don't think so. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so now they have to go to sensitivity training, which is just... <laughs> You would not believe what a fucking shit show this is. <laughs> now, here's now, the I don't, argument. I don't, I don't think there'll be a fight like there was at ours, but, you know, who knows? Here's what I suspect the argument is against you. Where you hold any blame is, uh, did you feel a little good when you saw that? Yes, I did. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's where <laughs> that's where your guilt is. Well, I talked to somebody there last <laughs> night, uh, a, a prominent on-air personality, and I, because they used to make fun of me all the time about having to go to sensitivity training. Right. I said, I said, enjoy it, buddy. Enjoy it because it's it's now I no. I suspect that guy will learn a lot there. I would <laughs> if think. I know who you're talking well, about. Well, I think yeah. because there's really no journalism in this town anymore covering the sports media. I think it would be only fair to allow me to maybe attend so. that sensitive. Sure, record it. Yes. You should run it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's true. I could turn the speed. Yeah. I mean, I don't. You know, Mr. Cullinan. Ours famously was like a screw. You know, they they stopped programming for the game. It was a, I, everyone turned on me. I was screaming to everybody. Rich Keefe and John. By the way, John Tomasi. I will say. Again, all I ask for is consistency. This is a guy who that day was like, I'm embarrassed to work at this station. Like, you're on NBC Sports where that show is televised. Like, are you offended by what Tony said? It's just as bad as anything we ever said. Like, right. what's, what's yep. Trenny, same thing. I mean, you know, I, I, I'm not sure what, you know. That's where I think it gets in the murky, like, people saying, like, oh, you're a hypocrite for this or whatever. Like, I'm a hypocrite because I'm always anti-cancel culture. But, like... If it was said in the reverse, we're kind of saying in the reverse context, like Tony Maz shouldn't be fired. Of course not. Nor should you have been. Of course not. Is, is the point. No, like, <laughs> I'm, on the point now, I'm, I'm, I'm on the mic point now. I don't want anybody fired. Like whatever. Like, look, it's, it's a business ultimately. But like, you know, let's be honest. If you watched Tony the other day, I believe he was real. Like, do you think suspending him for a week makes him feel any worse? Like he, you are shooting a dead dog at this point. Like yeah. he was... Rolling around crying, he feels awful. You think that guy, after going through, he's gone through in the last couple of days, needs sensitivity training? Yeah. Well, you know what the suspension is now is waiting for what you were talking about before for you know Devin McCourty to tweet about. Of it course, or no, no, no. That's, it, this is now. And they're like, if that well, happens, is, we have to fire. This is now advertising pressure, and yeah. uh, this, uh, like I said, there's a couple of groups attached to it. Couldn't uh, have happened at a worse time, probably. No mean? football, like just. Literally oh, I would say the day time. after the Major League Baseball All Star Game. When there's nothing going on in sports and Aaron Andrews does an interview but the Dave, day before is probably the worst. Hey, thing. kudos yeah, to Dave. Day. He learned from that. And he said, what's the second most dead <laughs> right. time of the year? February. <laughs> who's next? Dave? Mid-February. All kidding aside, who's next? Uh, I don't have any targets right now. I'm, I'm just about a what mission. What did Tony do to you? He's hate. always been a nice That's guy. That's a question, yeah. What did Tony ever do to you? He didn't do anything to me. I, I believe Tony's a good guy. So you guy. kind of just like the thrill. The love of the kill. This is about the issue. This isn't about the man. This is about the issue. I'm trying to make the world a better yeah, place. Like Dahmer said. Yeah. I will say Tony did apologize to Linda Pizzuti. So, oh, all right. this, all this. I'm, kidding. Right. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. <laughs> but I into you most of all. I just picture like you know, like Tony, like uh, he's X amount of money short for something. And he's just like, yeah, sorry, we're twelve thousand short. I can't buy this Cullinane. <laughs> Cullinane. <laughs> but do you, you know what I'm saying about the Jerry tweet? Like, I'm like, I don't really know what he's. I understand he's trying to defend free speech. I get that. I'm with him on that. 
Uh, I hate the never apologize crowd. If you feel fucking bad, say it. Who gives a shit? Like I hate. I'm okay with that. No, if Tony feels like if Tony legitimately yeah. feels bad and wants to do it, do it. Yeah, but, but I'm my thinking of myself in a mo. If I got do, like if someone tweeted a video out, Conan tweeted a video like that of me, I'd be like, boy, I sound like a fucking moron. But as long as you know, Dave, that it's not actually the people who think now that Tony's racist who don't even really think that they're never going to change their mind. No, the people who like him are never going to change. The, the apology doesn't mean anything. But if it makes you feel better, then go for it. I would say yeah. I, I will never apologize for anything ever again. <laughs> Even if you feel like, bad, <laughs> just, yeah, I'm done. Like I made yeah. that, I made that promise forever ago. Like I'm, I'm good. I'm all set. If somebody's offended, I, it's fine. I perfectly understand it. Be offended. Don't listen. Yeah, but if go you, complain. If, target advertisers. Send video. Whatever. Yeah, My days of saying I'm sorry are fucking. Yeah, but if you do gone. something yourself, that's like I offended myself for this reason. You would apologize on the air. Yeah, no, no, I won't. No, I'm, I'm all really? set. No, I'm, I'm not going to give anybody the satisfaction anymore. I'm no. all set. Right. I'm a pussy. I feel that all the time. You want to apologize to Tony right now? Tony, I'm fucking I'm really sorry. <laughs> I mean, this is your fault. I've never been more sorry in my life, actually. <laughs> but I saw Fox News. I I was like, oh, fuck. Oh, I sure. Yeah, you were, you're, I'm sure you weren't refreshing some music it doesn't count, on. It doesn't count on the impressions of my tweet. It meant nothing to me. You're the new it enemy of Fox News. I am. Tucker should include you in that documentary he's making. Oh, that's true. It's a good yeah. point. You're a cancel culture guy. Yeah. It all started with Dave Cullinane. It's wild. <laughs> Just watching it and then tweeting it out. The joy it felt me to scroll, make sure his name was right under that TMZ logo. <laughs> it was. His dream come true. Well, you know, and, that, and like, so my thing all along, and people could be critical, and we'll talk to somebody in a moment who I think is, and that's fine, is I was just, for me, it's just like, look, this is why the Globe's a bunch of frauds. And I feel pretty safe in saying that Chad Finn is a phony. I, I don't, oh my God. you know, call me crazy. He was but, busy. He had a busy, he had a crazy weekend. <laughs> he can't even keep his story straight. He's lying to some message board and somebody, or he's lying to somebody else. And he's he was on at some, the gym. He was on the train. He's on a, <laughs> uh, he's on a podcast with Bob Lobel, who's in a bed. He was on one on Sunday. He was on one with Rich Kimball, yeah. some guy in Maine. That's Snake, who I hate, by the way. <laughs> uh, I don't know who that is. He's a guy who used to go on the show in Maine all the time. We're friends, friends with Tangway, this guy. This guy is a cocksucker he uh and once the Aaron Andrews thing happened he was like basically just like I'm not, I can't have you on like I didn't care but I was like what the fuck fuck you <laughs> fuck you at too rich yeah and he's and he's writing and by the way not, not to, but they're like Finn's writing a book you know he's not writing a book he edited the best Globe Red Sox <laughs> columns of all time whoa oh that's pretty good read I would rather it's good timing for that oh Jesus Christ and then and then he doesn't write anything about it and he's like oh you know believe these angry forces like you don't you like Tony and if it was us, you'd write, you would have written about it. See how quickly he waited till Aaron Andrews happened that day. But you wrote about it 10 times yeah. over four days. And by the way, if the people, well, we can have the fight with people who are trying to go after me. And by the way, going after me, I am responding simply to a tweet from my producer. Video I guess, content. well, where the, it's your show. Your nan, you employ oh, this guy. Oh, oh, do I control Dave's Twitter account? No, but I'm just saying you. He, Dave, did you did you? This reach out? guy is a representative. Dave, did you reach out to me and say I'm tweeting this out? I did not. Okay. I, I think that's what the gentleman on the line is saying is Cullinane should be fired. I don't basically. disagree with that. Yeah, right. No, I think that's and the, I told I told Tony, I told Tony that I was like, you want him fired? <laughs> I told Whitney that last week. I'm trying to get this guy fired. They're like, right. nah, who cares? Right. But no, I I think you know Dave did a terrible thing. He's trying yeah. to take people down. We all agree with that. I think the universe. Yeah. If you could do it over again, would you not record that? No, I would do that all over again. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's the I don't like the, I don't like the outcome. Twist. I don't like the outcome of it, but I would do it all it's over like again. Like sit with yeah. Murchison in that room all over again. I loved it. I loved every second of it. <laughs> yeah, right. It's amazing. One day, it'll be like that Boston magazine story. One day, Colin was just driving around his car trying to get a Red Sox score when he heard Tony Maserati <laughs> talking about race. Quickly hit record. It began. How how is how is Shirley doing, by the way? I haven't talked to Shirley. Oh, you guys again, don't talk, I understand. I work right. alone. Right. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Right, right. I Just forward away. email, you know. Yeah. Oh, look at Might this. want to take a look at this. Oh, I will I, say this. I am always like, I'm calling flabbergasted. forward to Shirley. We got Wendy's! <laughs> exclamation point. <laughs> oh, you like hamburgers? <laughs> <laughs> but how does how does he say that on the biggest radio station in town and nobody does anything with it? Like, how does that happen? I know Dave's saying, I, how, why isn't there just what did I just say the other like day? 24 that's, hours that's later why. is when I posted that video or whatever, 12 or something. But as I said, it's on the radio. No one's like, oh, he's definitely talking about a black guy. It was on TV, too. Does anyone yeah, but you that hear though? that audio, and it does still Most hit of the you, people are listening. And then you say, like, there better not be a fucking black guy behind him. That's what, that was my or else. process. That's yeah. what Dave says. Dave pumped his fist inside. <laughs> he, he, he zoomed, he, he zoomed be. that video in. And or he's like, going to get yes. what's coming to him. <laughs> yes. We got him. 
Oh, if you think Dave's done working on this one, for I like, I like he's Dave. going back in time with Tony. He's trying to find some old ones. I like Dave in in, in his lab, looking behind Felger. Enhance, enhance. He is black. Oh my god. Oh, Dave's got like the uh, what's that show that would like? It's on PBS where you find your roots. They do like the DNA swap. They, oh, the Dave, ancestry. Yeah, Dave doesn't. They found the guy. Did did the test. I feel like you guys are making light of this. I yeah. mean, this is my life. I know. No, I understand. Your life's work. Yeah, yeah. we know. Boy. Jeez. I always wanted to make an impact in the radio business. Yeah. Well, Matt Farwell is just having breakfast today. Dude. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Whistling as he goes to work. <laughs> I wonder if he didn't look like Matt. Well, who knows? I don't know what Dave. Who's to say? <laughs> so people are critical, you're saying. Yeah, he's here with us. Yep. Okay. This is uh, Menners in Australia, who, real quick, like, just went on this tweet storm like i'm sure you saw it very yes. critical yes you know, of me calling me comparing me to bob murchison uh which is fine i mean he's an idiot so we can we can do this but i mean i i'm not sure but what, what is your overall point hey kirk yes yeah, or surely i should say i've worked out that in this situation carl is bob and uh -huh. you're shirley because right carl went well, through let's the not, tape let's not let's not recycle let's not recycle tweets here do you have an original thought yeah i do have a original so why don't you well, why don't you present it then <laughs> okay i will uh, uh my thing is that uh -huh. you basically you got tony's scalp all over the fact that you got persecuted four or five years ago like well here well here's whole... here well here's the thing as i said and and i understand i knew i do understand your point but my thing is and i said it from the start i don't think anything happened to tony and i know that doesn't matter but my thing is i focused if you looked at it on social media and on the show all I cared about was the inconsistencies with the Globe, which turned out to be 1,000% right. And until Chris Gasper tweeted that out, nothing, zero had happened to Tony, and nothing was going to happen to Tony. So in truth, Manners, your issue is not with me. It can be if you'd like. Your issue is with Chris Gasper and the person who presented the video to Chris Gasper. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> like, I just said, hey, look, the Globe's a bunch of frauds. Turned out I was right, and you and I agree. And now I know you're a big Tony Maz fan, and I don't think Tony should get in any trouble. So really, your issue should be with Gasper and with Cullinane, honestly. Don't, don't play dumb. You knew I'm not playing dumb. I'm not. Uh, again, Cullinane again, again, nothing, again, nothing, again, nothing, nothing, nothing happened. Nothing happened until Gasper tweet out. Nothing. Hey, not a thing. Something was going to happen. No, and your producer no, is no, now going through other people's shows, picking out jokes. Like, that's where it's coming. Going through other guy people's shows. What, 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 what other shows? What, what, that's what, what we do. We play audio. What are you talking about? What other people's shows? Things. What? The fact that Cullinane was the one finding this joke and getting it out to the world. And that's your producer who started a show that's supposed to be against can cancel culture. And now you're. I am the against ones cancel culture. I, I, I am against cancel culture. Tony said something stupid. Colin got the audio. I reacted to it. Said, hey, I don't think Tony should be fired. I don't think Tony should be suspended. But guess what's going to happen? The Globe's going to do nothing unless somebody else does something. Nothing happened. Somebody else did something. Now Tony got suspended for a week. I called it exactly right. Exactly right. It's just sad what you've become. That you put your hands up. <laughs> uh, honestly, in the air and honestly, you're like, honestly, oh, honestly, honestly, fuck you. I mean, seriously. Matters, like, matters. like oh, shut up, Dave. Like, seriously, like, you can say whatever you want. I have no issue with what Tony did. He said something stupid. He got busted for it. It happened to me. What I've become, I mean, if this had happened three years ago, I would have done the exact same thing. Two years ago, I haven't changed at all. What has changed? You don't think I would have done this story if Colin had this uh, put this video up three years ago? You're out of your fucking mind. This is coming from somebody, by the way, who combs through every word I've said of my career and does shows on it. You Tony do, gets paid you do the hundreds. You do, no, I don't care about that. You do the exact same thing. So you're, you're fucking... No, that's, what, that's what I was going to say. Tony I would go paid, through and pull out all the jokes hold on, hold you've on, said. On. Tony gets paid... Like what? Like, wait, wait, hold on. Like what? What did I say? Like what You off, literally what, tried what, to get him in trouble. What? No, I'm not. What off-color jokes I make like Tony made? Go ahead. The floor is yours. Well, uh, there's things in your show that you've taken out of context. Go ahead, send them out. Bob Murchison send them does. Out. Send them. Send them. Bob Murchison. I don't give a shit. I don't do care. That. That's, do it. That's not I the don't point. care. I don't care. I did nothing wrong here. The, honestly, and, and you're ignoring Gasper for some reason. If, if Gasper didn't tweet this out, because if Cullinane didn't tweet out the video, there would be no Gasper. Do you Menors, 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 Menors. September fifteenth, twenty twenty-two, at five twelve a.m. Menners is going after Mike Montante for saying something stupid. He has zero fucking listeners. Nobody gives a fuck about Mike <laughs> Montante. This is fucking Michael Maserati who makes hundreds Tony, of Tony thousands. Maserati whatever stupid. his fucking name right, shut is. Up, shut up! 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 Shut up!
I mean, there's real seat. stakes for Tony Maserati, unlike Montante. Yeah, Maserati. Ma- yeah, show. Yeah, we're it, we're it, messing it, around. It, it, look, I'm not trying to get someone. Oh, no, you can't trouble. do that, Manners. You uh, can't say uh, we're messing oh, around because that's what we were doing the other day. We yeah. talked about a clip. Yeah. No, but was, Tony's a fucking media figure. You know, if you tweak that out, he's going to get in trouble. Manners. Well, first of all, first of all, Manners. Manners. First of all, you have proved a thousand times that the globe is hypocritical. You all your audience. I'll do it. I will do it. Listen to me. Listen to me. Shirley Leong on the phone with me was like, "I'm going to ruin your life." They tried to ruin my life. She was together with Murchison, okay? I almost fucking kill myself because of this asshole. So I will do this forever. I will point this out forever. If you don't like that, if you don't care about it, go listen to another show. Go hang out with your new friends. Go find critical stuff. Go after me. I don't give a fuck, but I will never stop doing this ever. If that's not me being different. That's me being exactly the same as I was. If Steve Robinson had this audio day one of my show, I would have produced it. Talked about it, said Tony should not be suspended, but he's going to get in trouble if somebody else does it, and the Globe won't say a fucking thing if it's only me talking about it. I haven't changed at all. Not one fucking bit. Not at all. So honestly, fuck you on that one. Fuck you. It's sad that you're the, you've proven this point a million times. And I will not stop. The globe. I will not stop. Look, I won't stop. But That's why? Not- because I hate the globe. It, it, because I hate the globe and it interests me. I find it interesting. If you don't find it interesting, that's fine. Go do something else. I find it interesting. Now, you're offended by this because you like Tony Maserati. That's why. That's the only no, reason why. Not. If it's somebody you didn't like, if it's somebody you didn't like, nope. you'd be leading the nope. charge. If it was somebody, nope. if it was K Marco or somebody nope. else, you'd be nope. all nope. fucking excited. You're a fucking phony as long as nope. is the day is long. Totally true. And Dave's right, by the way. Montante's a nobody, but you were happy to produce that audio of him doing that and trying to get him in trouble and do whatever. And this is what this is, you're the exact same as fucking Colony. The exact same. The, the stakes are completely different with Montante. And, Why? And what if Montante someday is a big media guy uh, and that ruins job. his life? He has a job, doesn't he? Yeah, it's, he's a person. Yeah. Yeah, I actually, well, to, behind the curtain, I told Montante before I tweeted out to delete the audio. Well, I, I think I have a better forever. example, Menners, because the Resist Barstool account tweeted out shit about Kirk years ago and Portnoy. And instead of saying, oh, God, how did they do that? We played the clips on of the course, show and so reacted. I would do that all day. I would never stop doing that, ever. If I, if I was in the situation where Tony was in, I would have played the audio and talked about it. Instead of crying like a fucking bitch like Maserati did, who I like. Instead of whining and crying and, you know, Rolling around the floor, we would have played the sound. And I would have said, look. You've this done is- you crying, don't worry. What'd you say? I said, you've done you crying. Don't start pointing the finger. What does that I mean? I just think. What does that mean? Well, I'm just saying you've done you crying on air. I need to make fun of Maserati for doing it. What else? Like, what else? Well, I, I just, I think I've made my point. You you guys have changed. You know, the old Kirk is dead. <laughs> the dumbest thing. Well, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. How many times do I have to say this? What, out of what, context. What, what jokes? What, how is that joke taken out of context, out of curiosity? What's the context? And by the way, I don't well, care. I don't care. You shouldn't be suspended. I don't care if there's no context. You, you're, you're such a fan. What was the context? No, no, no. They explain the content, some stupid joke between them. I'm not defending Maz, but is this Carl's new thing? But it's who thinks he should be fired? What have we changed? Nobody, nobody, nobody. Dave doesn't think he should be I fired. Don't get, I don't think he should be fired. Chris Gasper, if he doesn't tweet that out, nothing happens. You're not, was, for some reason, you're not acknowledging that, but we both know that's yeah, true. Okay, so you're going to dare, you're daring the globe to get them in trouble. Otherwise, they're hypocrites. You're basically saying that to is, them, but, you should be getting uh, in trouble. Hold on, Maz. Hold on, Maz. Now you've got him in trouble. Do you think the globe is in trouble? Do you think the globe is being hypocritical in the way they covered it versus the way they cover me? Absolutely. Okay, well, the good. You've proven the point 5,000 times. And the show's been going for I, five years. Now yeah, you just happens, claimed the If it happens again, I'll do it again. You, you're if it happens dead. again, I'll do it again. I won't stop doing it. Are you fucking good. crazy? Well, do you think we would the point? If that was Steve Smith. Well, then go listen to another podcast. You know what I mean? If okay. that was Steve Smith in Tallahassee, do you think we wouldn't have played of that audio? We've we done it. That's the, so the, the example I was going to use. The world. Do you remember that radio show in Buffalo? The guy made a joke yes. about burnt toast? Of course. We talked about that and played it. Did you have a problem with that, Manners? No. We said he was a fucking idiot. No. But why? But why? We said, we, 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 we said I can't believe he could say that and not think he was going to get fired. Yeah, it's a bit different, though. Why? In why? That situation. Some little station in Tallahassee. What's his job? No, it's his it was his Buffalo. They have a health team. Boston. You know they can't ignore it. Cullen Hayne and Kirk, they cannot ignore it. They ignored it. me, Menace. Menace, as I said they were going to do, they ignored me. Now, Dave's video is different. I understand that. By the way, I had no problem yes. with Dave putting the video up, but Dave's video is different. I understand that. But, like... My God, they weren't reacting to me. They were reacting to Gasper. I mean, that's obvious. Like they were going to, as I said, for days, they were going to ignore me. By the way, like, I don't even care. Like I'm going to talk about it. It's an interesting issue. This is what we do. 
I can't even understand. said you came in and pretended like nothing was going to happen. You knew as soon nothing as was played, go- Nothing was going to happen. No, no, I didn't. Okay, what about the Amanda no. Dobbins thing, Menders? Did you have a problem with that one? Hmm, what was that again? Kirk, on the, listen to The Ringer, brought in audio and said, Amanda I think Amanda Dobbins, Dobbins the, said something. Yo, I thought she was one of the many Lady Minna fans that Menders sends inappropriate things to. They've reached out to us and asked him to stop, but I guess she is. I don't she's know right. about She's that. the one from The Ringer. Yeah, I don't go know ahead. about that. Go ahead. Amanda That's Dobbins actually, said, by the way, dead true, but go ahead. Amanda Dobbins said something on The Ringer about uh, Fox News girls wearing short skirts or whatever the fuck she said. Yeah. Kirk brought in the audio. He's the only one I ever heard mention it. So he exposed her as some... And as, and as I said, by the way, the whole time, they won't do anything because it's me, and nothing happened. Did you have a problem with that? No, but it just goes to... Why? Because C- Kirk has always proven that the media is hypocritical. We know but that. But why didn't you have a problem so with him? It, it, just, it, just seems like, just, it just seems like you're more... First of all, we know you're a Maz fan, but secondly, more upset with the content of the show, which to me, I would say, like, listen to the show. I'm sad that knows Maserati's sick. And he still tweets oh, out the video. T- you know, what, honestly, oh honestly, we tough, all had a problem with honestly, that. Honestly, tough, tough shit sandwich. Like Tony's on the air. Like, oh, here we go. See, because you got in trouble. No, Tony no, 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 suffer. stupid. That's your argument. No, what I'm saying is, if Tony's sick, which I know he is, then don't go on the air. Like that, that, that's not an excuse. Like that, 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 that's different. I understand your point of saying, hey, like you shouldn't be doing this. Like we could disagree. We do. That's fine. But once you agree to go on the air, whether you're sick or not, then what? That stuff doesn't matter. That, I think that's a bad yeah, argument. Yeah, knows Maserati's sick. He that doesn't, gone, oh, that doesn't, but that, that, that doesn't matter. He's desperate that, from his attention. A guy behind a desperate. microphone said something stupid. It gets tweeted and talked about. That is all that happened. That is it. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, Cullinan did sense weakness, but that's fine. It's, it doesn't matter. And he's, look, you got him obviously. suspended. He's fine. Good on you. I mean, congratulations. You actually, obviously, I mean, like, you, you can play Moss, whatever. You can call me Shirley. I, I, you, I don't really care. Like, it doesn't matter to me. But do you really not think Gasper has a role in this? Like, you're not that stupid, are you? You're stupid. You're not that stupid. Um, well, I haven't been looking at Chris Gasper's tweet. Oh, you're, you're, you're ignoring, you're, 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 you're you're ignoring every point. You're, 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 you're not even informed on You're the ignoring every point. So of course it's, he played a role. It's a fucking, it's a fucking, it's a role. fucking embarrassing. Role. If you're not even aware of that, you don't even know what we're talking about. It's fucking embarrassing. Then you don't even know what you're talking about. I do know about, what I'm honestly. talking about. What did Gasper, what did Gasper tweet? No, I do not do know what we're talking about. You talked about it. I was listening to you talk about the show. Go ahead. The floor is yours. You said you are aware of it. Okay, so my other thing is, you've always said... So you don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. You've always said that people on the left and the right aren't going to change. So why was you coming in on Monday and getting on your fucking pulpit about hypocrisy again going to change anything? Your audience already knows you're right about all this. All you've done is got Maserati in trouble. Why do we talk about anything then? Right. Why do we talk about... Nothing's going to change. Change. Nothing's going to change. You're right about that. I hate the globe. I want to point it out and I want to reinforce it to new listeners. You know, if there's two new listeners okay, who didn't know that, then I'm going to do it. It's just sad. Why I is it you had sad? Better judgment. Honestly, Why is it sad? I thought you had better judgment in this case. Obviously, Carl's an idiot, but I thought, you, Kirk, you would have better judgment. By the way, I, I, by the way hold on. Like, I handled this perfectly. 1,000. No, I you did. didn't. No, I you would, didn't. If I could do it over again, I would do it the exact same way. Exact okay, same Shirley, way. Okay, Shirley, sure. I don't, I don't get, I don't, did I contact advertisers? You fucking idiot. Well, you did everything you could to get that video noticed from Carl. No, I didn't. I, I, did. I had one retweet, which I said, hey, the Globe's different. That video. Oh. On the show, I don't know if I texted you this. Yeah. Listeners, I, I don't know if I texted you this, but I, when I posted that video, yeah. I didn't feel anything happening until literally Chris Gasper started to tweet. I said something is fucking happening, and I had no idea what well, it, it was. It doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter, but like, Shirley, I mean, you do, like, I get the joke, but like, you do understand what Shirley did to me. Like, you do understand why that's different than what I did with Tony. Like, you do get that, yes, right? Down this uh, road hold, hold on, hold on, hold down on, down hold on. Shut, uh, do you, I mean, you want, I know you're stupid, like, you, you're not informed, but you do understand the difference, right? Ex- at least, ex- can, can you at least acknowledge that? They did a lot. They did a lot more than than, than you've done. They I did nothing. I, no, hold extreme, on, I, but... I, I did nothing. Shirley was literally contacting advertisers. Was calling me. Told me because of the McGorry stuff and the Colin stuff that she was going to try and ruin me, and she did to her credit. But like that's like a lot different from Tony, who, by the way, like uh, forgetting everything else, made a really stupid joke. Like it is, it is different. Like you do get that, right? Uh, it's it's in the same ballpark. Okay. I mean, I mean you're, just, snip, you're just you're just uh, if, you, if, you, if you think what I did is if, if you think what I, if you think what I did in the same ballpark, you surely is. is, is well, well, to, but hold on, no. trouble, it, let's say it is in the same ballpark. Feet. Let's We've pretend head on the wall now. Manners, manners, manners. Let's pretend what Kirk did this time is in the same ballpark. What about every example I listed of him doing the same thing with Amanda Dobbins, with the guy in Buffalo, talking about the same type of shit of someone getting fired, where we were like, if Kirk said that. It's it's different when the audio is like you're reacting to audio that someone else has found. He like, found the fine. Amanda Dobbins someone audio. Else had t- 
If someone, no one else talked about fine, that that I've ever heard in my he life. Fighting Amanda Dolby. Did you have a problem with that, Menners? Did you have a problem with that? I can't remember the, the audio. You absolutely but, didn't. Was, you didn't. And you why? didn't. You're fucking... And by the way, on your own show, which I listened to the other day, when I was running, I jumped around. You really had no problem with this on like your show this weekend. You're like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. Like We could play it. You were like 50-50 on it. Yeah, I had to think about it. And now, <laughs> I mean, I your what show a Monday. fucking... And goodbye, and goodbye. <laughs> what a fucking Monday. phony. We're good. What a fucking phony. And that, you got a little attention. Congratulations, you got on the show. And now you'll... Do your tweet stuff and whatever. I mean, he was ruminating. Yeah, he had no issue with it. He's like, yeah, I guess. I don't know. And the other guys are like, I don't know. It's just like, whatever. We gave him enough time. Yeah. I mean, it's fine. Whatever. What else? <laughs> just ridiculous. On this, I mean, yeah. yeah. I, whatever. It's yeah. what he thinks. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, but dead oh, yeah. serious I, about that so, other thing about those fucking women. But go ahead. I, the only thing I would say is I get where, like, on Twitter, it's never good. Whereas, like, if you Mike, talk I don't, about Mike, it on the I, show Mike, first, I don't give a fuck. What, oh, I, know, I, don't, I, I don't care what I don't. Neither care, do I. <laughs> I don't care what anybody <laughs> thinks. I don't. Right. I would do it again in two seconds. I have no problem with it. And by the way, like, forgetting everything, I like Tony. It was a fucking racist joke. Yeah. Like, and I don't care. Like, I, you know, and I, and, and like the Tom Shaddix of the world oh. in his own make believe WWE world with that fucking hideous cunt he's with that's serious. what she gets talked to enough like that at home you what know? do you mean she yeah, exactly <laughs> those kids, yeah. not his wife. oh that is their nickname i yeah, forgot I yeah. mean, that's what he called his kid in the show <laughs> no i'm kidding i, I like every, i like all the other shit except for tom but like tom being like people steal cars chris like uh, that's that's fantastic addition to the conversation yeah like what does that even mean People steal cars? It was a white guy. Tony wouldn't have made the joke. Bottom line, not arguable. We'll never doesn't, know. It doesn't matter. Thanks to Dave. And I could have easily, could have, you know what though? I, I don't know if I would have said something that's stupid. I don't know. I, maybe I would have in the moment. I have no idea. But I feel like one that, a joke that on the nose would have been done really tongue. Like if you were going to say it would have been done like, you know, right Dave? Like make Dave into a racist. Oh, thing. for sure. Yeah. I you mean, know? there's a way, to, there's a way to do it. And I right. think Tony's kind of stupid. There's no too. real, like there's no level. Like if somebody says something stupid, we talk about it. Right, right. We just do. Sure, so, but, I mean, another. Well, but yeah, but I would say we don't always. We're not always the one who have the origin of the video. Like it came from you. Right. Yeah, but I well, mean, so then the, I would. What's I, the then, difference? Really? Well, that's different. It's different that you put it out there and you're like, "Hey, he said this." I mean, that that is different. We're we're introducing the conversation. Is it? Are you exposing yeah. Trenny by tweeting out a clip of her on Jim and Marjorie? No one else tweeted that. Well, it's like the Trenny OK thing, right? You With know? the. Uh, Remember the whole military thing and they found pictures of her doing it? Right, Same right, thing. Right. I mean, it's yeah. what we do. And yep. when somebody likes somebody, like this guy likes Maz, Matt Manners, which is fine. Uh, he wants to defend him. And, you know, that's... And by the way, there are people in the universe who, like, love the show, but there's their whole thing is, like, we hate the show. That whole mm -hmm. crowd. Yeah. He'll find them now. And that's where he's always supposed to be, I think, ultimately. <laughs> well, yeah. that's where... I mean, he... I feel like he is one that's been moderate, like a fan, but also critical of the show. Yeah, which is And fine. kind of toes a decent line like that. Yeah, it you know, was annoying, a, uh, but <laughs> it was not. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad he, uh, he had his, he had his moment in the sun today. So congratulations to him. Yeah. But yeah, on the, like I guess that's the only other thing I think. And like, I'm just making a call out there now to the to the Devin McCordys and the Jalen Browns of the world. If you can, if we can really bring them down, yeah, just quote tweet it. Just do like Boston, man, Boston. Yeah, that's all. And, and that's, then, I, then I think we got them. And that's at Dave Cullinan. You want to fight? If you're looking for the video, yeah, then I think we have them. Yeah, you know, I think right. <laughs> the guy made a mistake. He's gonna take a week off. He loses a little money, and we move on. Uh, that's what's happening. That's how he justifies. That's how oh, he yeah. sleeps happened. at night. You know, sure. he was not canceled. He was not canceled. He will be we'll back see. next week. Uh, maybe. You never know yeah. when this thing gets rolling. Right. Right. I hope you know? he's back next week. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. What if it's like, how will you feel if it's like kind of like Joe Paterno, like he ends up getting fired and then he like dies a week later? It's like Tony Maz died of a broken heart today. I hope he's back next week. <laughs> but my ears and eyes, as you know. They're open. They're always looking. I yeah. sort of said if he does die, he'll be buried in his favorite sheet. That's what they say. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That's what it's... He's a, he's a dues paying Klansman, but he's not. A, he doesn't attend meetings. Oh, inter that's an interesting way to do it. Yeah, <laughs> Just, he likes the he likes the health plan. It's almost a reverse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he's gonna come back. Oh my God, you talk about oh when he comes back, deballed like Oof. you wouldn't believe. Like it's gonna be like you know. Well, 
It's going to be the point where he's like, they should fire Belichick and hire like Ray Rhodes or like you know, Michael Bishop is better than <laughs> oh, Tom I guess Brady. I, I didn't think of that. I was going to say the nice thing about their show is it's not like they're getting into murky waters that often. No, but they're going to be like, oh, here's a, here's our Gary Washburn hour. And it's going to be like, it's going to be all that stuff. Uh, get ready. I feel like they all like each other at that station. Is there any old school like radio mentality at all with this where like some people are ready to pounce like internally? I don't know that. I don't know. Yeah. I, I, no, I think they get along pretty well. So Gasper's on with them every week, right? Or is he not anymore? Um, he was on like Fridays for two hours. Yeah, I think he is. I think he is. I think he is. Yeah. Will he talk about it? I don't know. I, pretend it didn't amazingly, happen? I think EI like I don't think EI uttered a syllable on it, to my knowledge, which is insane no, to I me. Didn't hear anything. Even if you want to, even if you want to defend him or rip Adam Jones, like must know him really well. Yeah. Right. Like you don't have a thought well, on it. That's the other th kind of crazy thing about Menner's argument is: Are you saying we shouldn't have talked about it if we heard it? Because that's almost an anti. KMS thing, like the idea that we oh, we like Maz, we're not going to bring it up. Yeah, but that's you know what I mean. Like it's... if you heard that, you'd be like, "What the fuck is he doing?" Yeah, and look, I don't mind. Look, Manners, how Manners feels, and like, he wants to come on and fight. Good for him. Like, yeah. I, I have no problem with that. Uh, it can get ugly and whatever. That's that's perfectly fine. He sure. can be mad, but like those that. But to me, like in a perfect world, what we just did, like Maz should be doing for like two weeks, just take, or a show, just take calls like that, right? Or just talk, play the audio. We, God knows, I would have, and just but. You know what though? The the savvier business move is to do what they're doing. It just is. But it's, also it that show, is. like they they outwardly always stay away from that shit. Like they're always their their whole thing is like we stay sporto. Yeah. So like it's, it's good it's for Tony. He gets a week off. He gets to go down the plantation. It's probably warmer down there. <laughs> keep an eye on things. You know. It's I don't, what I don't know. How, I don't know. Why I didn't think of this during the thing, but you literally protested. Michael Felger outside of their studio. I did. I was when very Felger offended got by in it. trouble, yeah, I was offended by that. You went outside and said, "Fire Felger." Well, this, was like, a, this is very on brand. <laughs> I guess is my point. This was a tougher one to do. Uh, I don't know how I would pull this one off from a satirical sense, but I would have right. figured. I would have figured. It out. Right, right. I think right, I would have right. brought some of my uh, close brothers and sisters with me and marched. I think we would have done a march. Oh, day. good. Or I a was hunger worried, strike uh, or something. Some Al Jolson records would be broken yes. out or something. All right. And boy, uh, Dave, how long was Reamer's uh, piece on EI.com about this? Uh, Seven, yeah. 8,000 words? Yeah, it wasn't too long. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievable. I know. I love Alex. I was Reamers. thinking about that. Doesn't he host a Media Mayhem podcast? He does. And yeah, Alex yeah. would love this. Stuff. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. sure. I, oh, he does. I yeah, guarantee he does. you wanted to write about it. Yeah. I guarantee you that. Yeah. That's weird that they would say, don't write about it. You get because you think it would benefit. No, I can't, I'm well, not. I, but I'm saying you think it would benefit them. No, I think I even think if they were like, "Oops, it got out there." I think you the know? thought is once they do that, people will say, "Oh, you're calling them racist." Here's an old story. Here's an old story. Here's even old then, story. say we wipe, we cleaned out the racism. They're Before gone. Still there. I mean, you said yeah, it yesterday. I, guess that's <laughs> I mean, yeah. I forget you said it yesterday. Him. We were critical of Zolak with that Cam Newton thing. Like that. No, I think we defended them. Uh, well, we brought it up. As as I defended But I remember you. You were more like, "Why would he say that?" than I was. You know I, what I, mean? was, like, I, I think it's like with Tony. I, think, way, it's just, I think it's a dumb moment. Like people yeah. say dumb things and you should play the sound and say, oh my God, I came up how stupid I was. I'm not racist. Yep. And everyone's life goes on. You continue to talk about sports. This guy, Menners, is crying because I don't even like, I, I don't know. Like I, I, I would say I, I, I did nothing wrong. I blame Gasper and Colin. <laughs> right. I did nothing wrong. As we all do. Yeah. But you know, this guy, you know, it's, but hey, listen, well, whatever. Everyone has an opinion. <laughs> any any other thoughts on the Maserati situation, which is, you know, Dave is in the middle of. Well, the only other thoughts is uh, I'm assuming we're going to get a Chad Finn column on this as opposed to, I thought he was he's a columnist. He's, he's going to touch on it on Sunday. Because he wrote the story about the suspension last night. He wrote that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. But that, you know, I'm assuming he's going to give his opinion because I thought that was part of his job. But right. I don't know, he what does he write in that moment? Like, good. I'm glad I got him. You know? What do you mean? I'm glad he was suspended. Like it's just weird. The guy you do or used to do radio with every week is suspended. And it's oh, weird Gasper's. To, I'm like Gasper's gonna write about it. It's weird to not do that on the air. I guess is my point. You should be right. You're right though. You should be right. If I'm at the Globe, I'm like the fuck are you tweeting about this for? Write a column about it. Right. Yeah. Or anything. I, I think go on air. But yeah, his employer would say. Well, like a imagine, imagine because he's away. For three days over the oh, weekend. Oh, Finn? Yeah, that oh, he can't write 500 it's, it's words it's on this. It's fucking, you want no it part is, of it. It's what, it's, it was my entire point. And I get that some people are tired with that. I don't really, like I said, I'll, I will, that's the last thing I'll do is, is, is rip the globe until I'm, until I die. So, and you are in his head. I think he <clears> tweeted at somebody yesterday, like, uh, at another fan, he was saying, like, oh, he gets his talking points yeah, from yeah, one yeah, yeah, source. Yeah. Which is, whatever. which on this yeah. one, a thousand percent right. Trailer's yeah. not going to, they're not going to touch it. Yeah. So, you know. And until Maserati loses oh. his job, I am not going to stop this fight. It was another goal. I think that's fair. About it, you know, I thought I misunderstood. I thought Chad Finn was saying you get your talking points from one lone no, actor, right <laughs> one lone gunman. If we, if we, do we have Jalen Brown's number? I would like to get him to tweet this out. Like, <laughs> You're very specific on Jalen Brown. It could be Jason Tatum or you know other. How about Deuce? 
<laughs> That'd be big. I'm a little deuce. I was fired. Yeah, he would. What kind of world is he going to? He said be a man one day. He said be in the world with Tony Maserati's doing right. this stuff. Right. You know what I mean? Jesus. Yeah. Look, I saw Green Book. I've seen The Sopranos. I, I know the Italian's attitude toward towards uh, those particular people, I will say. That is where they're lucky. They, I don't think they do like interviews with athletes. Or if they had a guy that was on every week, well, I guess that would be yes. But if they had like an athlete on every week that they had to ask about this, right? You know what I mean? Like if you, did, I'm sure they asked Brady about right. your shit or but whatever. Here's the difference. You're right. No, that's right. But the difference is like, I, and it's probably the Tony and Mike's credit, and it's why they've been so successful, why they've had such a long run. I would be able to help myself. I would just talk about this if I had said this. Like I'd yeah. come back and talk. They'll just, it will go away. And I, I was texting with somebody from 985 last night. I was like, this will pass because you guys will handle it correctly. Right. Like, as opposed to where we would just be fighting the world. Every story written about me. I'd be yeah. Like, fuck you. Well, it's fuck also you, different you, shows you. where if you're, 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 you're not listening to uh, Felger and Mads for the, the culture war. Correct. You know? But I think they have an, a loyal audience who must be like, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah. You know? I, I, you know, I don't know. And it's honestly, like, it is Conan's fault. I got a lot of replies. If, Dave didn't re if you didn't record that, Dave, this wouldn't have happened. If I didn't see the tweet, you first of all, you got to blame. You gotta, is Elon Musk not a part of this whatsoever? I mean, yeah, I think he played a role. I mean, the algorithm. All, some so you saw a tweet, tweet from a nobody. Tweeted you. It was no, no, no. It was just on my timeline, just out of the blue. Right. Don't follow each other. Boy, that's something along the lines. Sure. Of, Boston Radio be, Watch. I heard that tweet. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, but yeah. it just said something along the lines of like Maz is racist, and I was like, what the fuck? And I searched it on Let's Twitter. Get to work. I searched it. Oh, I searched it on <laughs> Twitter. Got a knife and fork. <laughs> And the surgeon has entered the room. <laughs> yeah. I just searched on Twitter. I saw like, I think it was only that or one other one. And then I went to the radio. Oh, what do you mean one other one? Like one other tweet. Oh, I think one other example. Okay. So there, you have other ones in your holster then. So Dave's no, passing no, the buck. Is, Two people he follows that seem to be unnamed. Do you follow or just in general? No, just, in, they just showed up on my timeline. Like something along the lines of mass is huh, racist. Don't and be then, damned. And then I just went to listen. Then he said it. And I said, I got to see the video because uh, I hope there's not an african-american behind him is what i hoped hmm. well there you go my god yeah <laughs> unbelievable i started to get colony may pick up a few fans because i started to get replies to my tweet about it so like i just said hey there's the you know an sjw out there yeah. be on alert yeah. and people started to reply to me good one less racist on the air yeah. I thought one. it was a joke, and when I looked, they didn't follow me. No, so Kill I think they're Conan guys. Yeah. Yeah. Kill shot. I'm happy to retweet that, too. It's a good tweet, because you're right. There's somebody out there now, just in case. Yep. Just in case somebody t tells a joke based on an old stereotype as a joke. Right. Or in case somebody's just trying to keep things loose, or break balls, or maybe even be satirical. Believe me, there's somebody watching. Keep your head on a swivel, folks. There is somebody watching. God, the file you must have on Jerry. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just picture calling in the shower with that hot water on his on his penis. That's as happy true. as can be. That's not true. <laughs> Didn't need any that day. No, no. That's All set. True. Just playing that audio over and over. Just coming a gallon <laughs> in that shower. Just load after load. <laughs> and some little guy in Australia, Dave. You're up, you upset him. You and I upset him so much now that, you know. Montante. I mean, sorry Montante. Uh, Conan hit such a register when he was screaming. I never heard Conan mad before. Michael oh, Maserati. That's not what you do well. It's not you. That's not good Conan. I don't care, but he's a hypocrite. Oh, totally. Of course. Yeah. yeah My completely. only point was that like you're doing it to a nobody, and here's a guy who gets paid to speak. Like he gets paid to elicit responses on the radio. Like, he, well, the other thing is, once he does that on, in our world, then the people who are psychos will then try and ruin. That. We know. How, we know how that. And he knows that too. Yeah. The small so. market shit doesn't work either because it's the same as you playing audio of some tiny little show. Right. And that, like, of them, well, but, shit, but, of them but, shitting on you and then saying, Kirk, I just do a podcast with eight listeners. Why would you respond to but me? But I will say to, to defend him and the other people being critical of me, and this is why I'm different than anybody else, I'll give them credit, is like, it did originate with Colony. Yeah. Like, it is his video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I was going to respond to. I, and which that's I had why, no problem. That, that's what I was, was trying to say. If you had said to me, should I put this up? I would have said yes. Yeah, but so it, I, it wouldn't even matter because I would have grabbed it and played it on the show. <laughs> but, that, but what but, I was, but what if you, he but, was trying to, yeah, he was trying to. if you weren't aware of it, though? If I wasn't aware of the audio. If you weren't aware of the audio, or the, it wouldn't have, Maserati would not be suspended right now. Yeah, but what if I, I mean, that, you could say that with any audio. Like, my job is to Why is the grass green? No, Kirk. No, no, you can't. No, you can't. No, but I want to find audio well, I understand to play that. No, on I understand, show. But, but you are directly responsible for Tony being suspended. Solely, yeah. Yes. Not solely. No, no, no. I, yeah, Gasper, I, think so. I think so. And Mike. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, which I, I guess I feel bad for that aspect. Why don't you thought. throw him a couple of, couple of bucks? Take him to dinner. Why don't you buy a stupid book he just wrote? A few I'm gonna look ago. and see if he has like a, uh, a library appearance anytime soon. Yeah, you should do that. 
<laughs> Ooh, I believe people will be there. Oh, I, I call them to be leading the charge of that library. <laughs> no, thing. That? I, I don't I'll doubt be, that. I'll be inside, not outside. Sure, yeah, sure, this, sure. That's, yeah. This article about that Troy O'Leary three home run game. <laughs> that's really something. Hmm, interesting, huh? Oh, he's athletic. <laughs> okay, but not intelligent. <laughs> O'Leary. Oh, you thought he was. I, I see. That's why you liked him so. Well, that's just a seven. That's not a ten. I'll, I'll note that. We'll put that. We'll put that in our maybe pile. How's that? So you think it all would have played out differently if I just brought it to the show? Bob O'Reilly, all the parts is calling us at three o'clock today. We have a conference call. Um, if, not for, the, if not for the Gasper thing, it would blow. I, this is the one thing that matters that the other people understand. Like I, the the Gasper thing. Is, is entirely why this all happened. After, after but it is the reason Gasper knows about it because of you? No, it's because of Dave, the video. Right. Okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because people were responding well, me, to the me video. Quote, me quote tweeting it to a bunch of people. Sure. Oh, of course. That's what I was saying yeah. about Twitter, where it's like if we brought it on the show and talked about it, and that's the first time anyone was hearing, yeah. there's a context to it. On Twitter, it, there's a minute where it looks like you're working together to get this fucker in trouble. Sure. You know what I mean? That, yeah. I do get why people but thought like if that. There was yeah, no, if there was no video of the show, I would have brought the audio to the show. Right. And then we would have cut clips f for that day Making of fun. that yeah, segment. Yeah, yeah. Of that segment. Oh, or for sure. So it's getting out there regardless. Yeah, look, yeah. I, I look at yeah, But if people worked up on the other side, I totally get that. No issue. Yeah. That's a, it's a beauty of it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anything else on, on the Maserati scandal, which is a real scandal? I don't think so. No, I don't think I, so. I mean, I guess I probably said this earlier, but like, I do wonder if the suspension is, because this often happens, if they're suspending him to say later that he's fired. No, I don't think so. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, so I don't either, like to look. No, no, no. That, that, that show is such a juggernaut. They're not looking to get rid of him. Right? And I know yeah. Tony's not the real reason why it's a juggernaut, but that's a brand name. Believe me, they don't want to fuck Pilgrim with that. Mans, they're, yeah. they're happy to, they think, they, I think they think, hey, we've got, right now you got another 24, 48 hours to get through this. It's already died down. From even like yesterday afternoon, they, they, which they is why I'm surprised them. they addressed it. Like, where, did Gasper's tweets get that much attention? To him, I think it did. I think okay. it hit him because I, I just think he was like, I, I have to react to this. So they did, and then that was how oh, like four people replying to him. No, on I Twitter. think I think he saw it and was like, you know, I think he probably genuinely felt bad. Yeah. I think it was like yeah. a human reaction. It's just so weird to me to not be like, hey, Chris, come on the show, we'll talk about it. Uh, yeah, just, you know? to, your, to your point, that's just, I don't think that's I do think they don't do that. I do think he was going to apologize regardless, and then that would have that would have helped it spiral anyway. But every I mean, every story was about the apology yesterday. Yeah, like, well, like the apology. That's, isn't that how it always is? Basically, no. Usually, sometimes people apologize. Remember that weird one we played a couple of years ago? That college baseball guy losing his mind over a player. Yes. Yes. Like, yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Yeah. The just, ESPN radio. It's weird or, stuff yes. like that. It's just yep. something fucking weird. Isn't right. it? I apologize that we played that. We should not have played that. <laughs> You, exposed, you got him in trouble. Well, Colin had sent it to me. I didn't, I didn't want to play it. He found it. So Dave thinks, like, originally the, apolo the apology was addressed to Dave Conan. Like, Dave, I'm sorry. I think so. And no. then Gasper kind of took the... Has Maserati apologized to you? Because now you're taking a lot of trap, yeah, a lot of heat. Is, my DMs are not pretty right yeah. now. Yeah. Is he, is he, is he had the, has he had the class to apologize to you? No. No, he is he's not. not. No. Okay. I figured but he's I call him class. I'm the guy who doesn't need one. Like, I'm an actions right. guy. But I, I figured like, he's... But you sure are. Yeah. Activist. That's true. Do you consider yourself an activist now? No. No, I'm a journalist. Okay. Yep. Hmm. Okay. A little yeah. bit of a re renegade in me type, you know? Yeah. W w again, do you, is it only sports radio or is it? <laughs> it's only sports radio. Right? Okay. Oh, yeah. you're not going to go after other stuff then. Someone photoshopped Matt Farwell whistling to work and Maz behind bars. Okay. <laughs> it's my niche. God. Uh, all right. What else? Uh, Barcelona just hired this guy that I've never heard of. You know I haven't Titus either. Guy? I, I was know. actually going to, I'm sure he's a sweet guy. It seemed like it's a big deal. I, I, he's a bunch of followers. He's yeah. very popular. I, I was meant to message Dan Katz last night because I was going to be like, this is great. Who is this guy? Yeah. Mark yeah. Titus? Is yeah. that his name? That's oh, oh, oh. The name you mentioned earlier. I don't know who he is either. I thought he was a comedian. Is I, there saw, a Titus I didn't that's mention a his name earlier. Or Dave did. Oh, I'm someone sorry. Said, someone said, said the name of the Mark this Titus. Feels, this feels like a bad pre-show conversation, Dave. My, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. really no, but anything? I saw a video with Big Cat talking to Mark Titus. I didn't know who that was. He's a college basketball guy, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure he's... That's great. I hope he does, you know, great things. And I will say this. If he has a problematic past, it will be discussed. We'll find out this afternoon, <laughs> folks. <laughs> Stay tuned. I mean, good luck. That's what I'd say, because you're going to get the full scrub. Because Maserati's not saying anything for the next six days. So Dave's, Dave's itching right now. And it's Cullinane's signature to have no tech. Like, no commentary. Just, you know, think hey, for yourselves, that, folks. That, you just put it out there. This yeah. is strange. Yeah. Hmm. And I'll be like, what, what do you have got? to say about this? <laughs> Mark <Globe."> Titus. <laughs> Well, the New York Times is awfully quiet about this. How about our friends <laughs> at Julia Black? What yeah. would you have to say here? I don't think the I don't think the New York Times touched Maserati. I don't think. Huh? I don't you're, think the uh, I don't think the New York Times. You're touched saying Maserati. get on it, New York Times. Yeah. No, get, I'm not. Get I'm stepping. Just, yeah. just noticing. Um, yeah. we went after. I saw they tried to get Dave to do something. Portnoy. 
Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. The original Dave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 By the way, Dave, we have do, what, do we have know when this big call is coming up? Uh, I scheduled it for tomorrow at one thirty. I was going to ask you if you're available for it. Uh, probably. I guess. Yeah. Do I need to be part of that? It's or just no? interesting. How there wasn't any other names attached to this meeting. <sighs> well, you're getting. The, you know, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Tomorrow's a big day. My trivia is up tomorrow night as well. Oh, that's exciting. Which was an entertaining contest, I will say. Hmm. I actually like those guys. Obviously, I love Kevin. Uh, Jack McCarthy's a nice kid. And the other guy, I like Rudy. I don't know him. I don't know Jack McCarthy either. That's the other Jack. Nice guy. I, I, they seem like nice kids. And then, uh, obviously, my guys, Quigsy and uh, Big Ev. So sure. Tomorrow night. All and right. then, uh, we'll stay tuned. <clears throat> yeah, we'll see what happens uh, going forward with that. Uh, I really can't give anything away. I'll just say it's a, it was an entertaining uh, contest. Ooh. Well, speaking of Jeff D'Lo, mm -hmm. you have a new rival of sorts. Oof. I mean, I would, I just, I would just say this. So I got, I saw that audio, and I just said to Dave, "Attack!" <laughs> so he is going right. Gooch, he huh? is going back in yeah. time. No matter yeah. what, this, well, kid, so, this kid wrote a paper in second grade. We'll find it. I'm so guarantee, if you're looking at Dave's search history, it's at Gooch mm -hmm. and several words that we couldn't yes. say on the air. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> just to make sure. Yep. Yes. Yeah. What did the Gooch man have to say? Well, there's there's one thing you left out, Jeff. That's podcast related. Uh, there's a budding rivalry on this uh, podcast, apparently, between Gooch and uh, our yeah, friend. Yeah, you don't Kirk you don't want Kirk on the show. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> he asked me. He's like, he didn't seem too happy. I don't like. Yeah, it. Kirk is coming on. I think next. I think and then Jeff goes into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, like yeah. me. Yeah, which like is it. okay. I don't. Yeah. I don't know the Gooch man. I, I I feel bad if he doesn't like me. I have no. But then I got some messages that said, oh, he's buddies with that guy, Josh, actually. Oh, um, yeah. okay. that All makes right. sense then. And I can't say anything until the trial's done about that. Yep. Right. Obviously, so. That's still going on, huh? Yeah. Harry's yeah. testifying tomorrow. <laughs> so. That's too bad. Yeah. It's good that Harry didn't come in, though. You that know, wouldn't have been people good. People lurking. No. Yeah, that, that wouldn't have been good. Yeah. That would not have been good. Credit to uh, Castellani for bringing that up. I always got to make sure. Yeah. Give him credit What's that? He, that was Chris Castellani. He did, yeah. He, yeah. he did a good job. Yeah. yeah. He's not busy. Posting old videos of himself on Twitter, he's doing that. Yeah. Your guy Castle. He has on. a voice, by the way, which I did not know. Have you seen some of his videos singing? No. You haven't? Well, I've if they're not. from his past, I'm Ooh, sure you have. Yeah. Not. He has a voice, like a really good voice. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's great. Good yeah. for him. Yeah. What, what do you want me to do with that? I don't know. I'm just saying. I do you. like Jeff trying to be like, don't don't piss him. He's my buddy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, don't piss off my guy. <laughs> I, I give him credit. He doesn't like me. At least he says it. Sure. Well, he doesn't like me. Well, he it's didn't okay. say it until Castellani well, that's made true. It. <laughs> but he said it. You but know, yeah. he doesn't like me. And so I look out. So, yeah, I guess I'll be on there, I think, sometime in March. Jesus, they're getting A-listers left and right now at Barstool. Who's on? Michael B. Jordan. Oh. He's in the Barstool offices right now. Oh, is that right? Holy shit. Wow. Uh, part of my take, you think? Uh, nope. million dollars worth of game. Oh, yeah. And, hey, Michael, you ever listen to Boston Radio <laughs> by any chance? <laughs> Yeah, a million dollars worth of game. You guys have uh, anything to say about this? Well, that's a good. That's a good get for them. I mean, yeah. he'll be boring, but you know, it's a good get. That's a big. Is, I've never seen him interviewed. Bore. He's a bore. Yeah, he's a bore. Don't book him. Great actor. I'm booking him. Kurt Schilling back in the media business with Outkick. Do you see this? He is. He's launching a baseball podcast. Is bore what triggered your memory for that? That story? will last uh, <laughs> two episodes. No, maybe I think three? he's going to try to stay strictly baseball. I okay, think, I'm, I'm sure that's the goal. Work. That's sure the goal. Yeah. Well, I was saying, if he works for Outkick, why not do bo do a political show and a baseball show? Yeah, well, that's a good question. I think he's so far on the political spectrum that I think that Outkick is like no. Outkick's not like that. It's not Breitbart. I don't even know. I don't even know. Isn't where it? He, I don't even know where he is. I know he moved. Yeah, I don't know, I believe, or yeah. somewhere in Tennessee. Isn't he that goes, Whitlock's whole thing? Like he's super far right now, or something? Yes, he's with the boys. But I, but I think oh, that, oh, he's but not I, with them. But I think their no. site is not like overtly political like that. I think they try and mix in stuff. Yeah, I, think. Okay. I don't spend right. much time on it. Did they it. used to be before? Maybe I don't know. Clay Travis. Or I mean, that's that? definitely what gets them clicks. Like that, those types of articles are better for them than just straight baseball. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody wants to hear Kurt Schilling talk about baseball on the podcast. Nothing against <laughs> Schilling, who I like, but yeah, you never know. I, I know, yeah. and it's not. Gonna <laughs> the world, not gonna the be... world is pushing baseball right now. We're no. still with their big initiative right now. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck. What is that? What's going on? Seems like Chris Clemmer is like leading the charge. They have like ninety people, Whoa. right, yeah. or something. Yeah, I think basically because everybody has their own team in the office, so they're all going to be covering it. It's uh, under uh, under one brand. That seems awfully messy to me. I, I could be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. I like all those. Well, guys, I mean, but... you're a Yankee fan. You can you can join up with the Yankee crew. I would assume. Well, so they already have representation content. for that. I think. Yeah, but if you put some content out there. <clears throat> Wait, so what are they doing? What's the, I don't know this. So Carl, uh, who they all, Barstow Chicago broke up, right? He kind of. They all yes. hate each other, right? I don't know, but the other three are right next to each other. All okay, day, I don't so, know. Yeah. So anyway, okay. Uh, so he 
you know, he's not doing that with that. Who, Jake Arietta? Is that who yeah, did it right. with? So yeah. that's over, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. He seemed like he was kind of a stiff Arietta. So I guess they're just going to be like almost like a floating world. Like they're all going to be under one umbrella. Like here's Clemmer and Frank talking about the Mets. Here's Carl talking about the Cubs. Here's whoever talking about the Dodgers. It's going to be like under one thing, I guess. Boy, that seems messy. I guess. Right. I just said that. Yeah. Well, I'm uh, hearing about it for the first time. I didn't know what it was. No, they might have a great plan for it. I have no idea. Yeah. Maybe it'll work. I have no it's But there's no flow to it. You can't get into a... Like, people that listen to, like, Jared and Dallas Braden were listening for those two. I think so. I, think I always thought right. that was, like, what the main channels were for. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. And maybe, yeah, maybe I'm not... I, I, I probably just don't know enough. Yeah. I have no idea. I would talk to Eric Nardini about it, but, you know, he didn't call us back, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what can you do? Have you... Do you start to rethink kind of all your relationships now? Like, maybe it wasn't you... Oh, they're well, worried about what they If you remember, what with Erica, said. a couple of years ago, it was Dave at the office. That's what I'm saying. Mansplaining things to her. Oh, right. Yeah, that was Th- not, that's true. That was not. Okay, and but I think that's one not of the, her contention, though, I'm saying. I, I believe you. I'm one of the saying. things he was mansplaining was, hey, you always want to delete your Twitter history, you know? After a couple of years, smart. things change. It's true. <laughs> you know, times change is all I'm It's saying. true. Oh, my God. I would just say, all I got was a text with audio last night from Dave. Dirty Mike and the boys. And I could not believe it. Well, I could not believe the content. I'll say the one thing that's nice about me is I have not changed in the last 10 years. I'm talking about the same horse shit I was in college. <laughs> say different language. I'll just say that. I could not believe some of the language. Unbelievable. <clears throat> what else? Uh, I don't think there's anything else you'd like, really. Megan, or the Don Lemon's back today. He apologized on Twitter, but didn't apologize didn't do it on, on the air? show. No. That's too bad. That would no. be fun to hear that, at least. Yeah. I already got roasted for it. They, they weren't happy with his apology. It looks it like... Uh, it looks, that's weird. That's unusual. Yeah, yeah. It looks like the... Uh, <laughs> by, the way, I'm sure, by the way, I'm sure he... Unlike Tony, I'm guessing Don Lemon probably doesn't mean it. Uh, un- oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, he's probably, <laughs> he still believes it, yes. Because yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. is like Don Lemon was making a point. Tony was making a joke. You know? Yeah, I'm not really sure yeah. what Don's point was exactly, but, right. you know, that women peak in their 30s? Yeah. Over the, I think in the 30s, they're over the hill. 27. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. What were yeah. you saying? Uh, uh, and I think, what's his name? Which they never even reported what the actual thing that happened with the former Celtics coach, right? M.A. Adoka? Is that how you say it? Adoka? Yeah. Yeah. He's apparently like leading candidate for the Atlanta Hawks job. Oh, really? So he might be making a comeback here. Oh, good it's for weird. him. We still haven't yeah. found anything out. I know. It's weird. Media can be awfully quiet sometimes. Everyone's <laughs> good. Theory. I've heard 5 million rumors. I don't know if any of them's true, but you know. Yeah. But nobody's reporting anything, and this guy's just gone. They just hide. The other guy's the full time. Coach, right? They lifted the interim yes. tag off him. Yes. Yep. So it's like, well, okay. Yep. I don't know. Who knows? I, again, like we're yelling, we're screaming. And meanwhile, Tiger Woods is handing out tampons. So that should well, we, we not spend enough time on. Someone that. tried to put a stop to that yesterday. Oh God, that poor husband must be <laughs> just. Oh God, it's not the Sean Casey, is it? No. Okay. No, no, it is not. All right. Do we have Trenny? We do anymore right like we call people out and we force them to realize what they've done wrong but for whatever reason in our society you can continue to degrade and demean women and have a whole bunch of people say oh Hold on. and even like there's a way uh, maybe there's a way to say this where people will listen to you this is not the way to do it i'm just giving you a piece of advice trend you won't listen because you never listen uh you know i like i've always liked trendy but like, this is a way to get people, and I understand she's going to say, well, you're not listening because blah, 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 but that's not why. This is such a fucking tune out. Well, I love the point she's about to make, actually. I think it's very... Uh... Are Jim and Marjorie both in for this or no? Yes. yes. Okay. People say, oh, and even women. I saw women. That's, women that's the with point I like. Is this is so sexist that even women <laughs> <laughs> don't ups- mind it. Like, think about what she's upset about. Like, what are we fucking doing, Trenny? Jesus. Go yeah. ahead, Trenny. I'm sorry, Trenny. Women with tons of followers on social media say, oh, for I don't understand why people don't get it. It was just a joke. If you can't take a joke, you know, what's your problem? Okay, Trenny. It's be- not that I'm taking a jo- It's not that I can't take a joke. It's you that I'm you, tired you, I can of tell being you- the bu- Given the many times you say oh, you can't take a joke, like I actually know this for a fact. So, but that's okay. I love someone that like looks at everyone and says like, well, "This is a sexist comment." Wait a minute, even women find it funny. That's I, I can't Don't believe I'm the only one defending women. You never. I, I love people that don't take a step back and look. Like, yeah, maybe I'm being crazy about this. You know. Not of a joke of weakness. We have about 30 okay. seconds left here. I just <laughs> want to know, are the Red Sox depressed? Do they have an apathy problem? They're terrible. They're, they're terrible. They're, terrible. Okay. they're awful. Don't they haven't even played a game. 
Yeah. Marjorie's like, uh, Marjorie's like, I haven't seen a fucking tampon in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Squash this talk. Yeah. <laughs> the fuck? I like Marjorie taking the reins there. Say so enough of this chipper jabber. Deliver the fucking horse and buggy. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, all right, we'll take a few calls. There was a little tension between uh, Jim and Marjorie, I noticed in that same clip. Every single week. Coming up next, we are going to talk to... Uh, who are we talking to? Oh, no GBH executive about Art Center. Yes, I do. <laughs> that's all, that's actually always been their dynamic, honestly. <laughs> always. always. Yeah, I'm a gym bitch. guy, you know that. And he's like, why am I with this fucking idiot? I feel like that was the Maz thing was a gym story. So he must have been told not to talk about it. He likes that stuff. He likes the inside inside. Well, I'm, I'm trying uh, to would know. Sure, Trenny would not talk about that. Yeah. Well, what's Jim's history? Uh, what's the Sam still working on? Okay. I mean, why don't you get? Why don't you go get Howie Carr? Well, Mitman's on Bruce Mitman's on that. Ooh, one, what a so. battle! Yeah. That is. <laughs> a battle of Titans. <laughs> Unbelievable! What a showdown! If I can give a little insight into how uh, Craig's ranking at, in that establishment. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I, I, I'm told that uh, yesterday Bruce Mitman, when people were going at him on Twitter, said to Craig, said this to Craig's face. Uh-huh. He said, and who is this at Craig VGS that is getting dragged down with him? <laughs> and I was like, he didn't think maybe it's the guy he's talking to. <laughs> <sighs> what a battle that was. Between two <laughs> Titans. Titans. And yeah. That's a guy who was in studio with Howie for how many years? Oh, the, only show I, the only time I was ever in Howie's studio to do a show I did with Steve. Howie wasn't there. It was during the radio.com stuff. I went in with Steve for like an hour. It's the first time I ever met Steve, I think. And Mittman was on after. Yep. And I knew I knew who he was, and I'd met him once or twice before. And I said to Steve, why is he here? So he was like, oh, he's on every Friday. I'm yeah. Like, I'm like, what are you, the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I think he just comes in. He's a paid spot. Which and- he's going after Mittman because of all this money that Mittman's owed, I believe. Right from the Howie? GOP, yeah. Howie's yeah. like part. I mean, Howie's a. I mean, yeah, but how much money did Mittman bring into Howie, which is the reason why Mittman was in that studio? That's just not even coming from Howie. Yeah. I like that's I, coming from somebody in his family, I think, but not from oh, Howie. Sure. I like that a big burn in the Republican world is like Howie Carr posts a picture of Mittman and Joe Biden. Like, I look, love that. I love. Look that. at him. <laughs> it's like I don't know. He's a businessman. That's Jerry, not that. Cool. <laughs> it's funny, Jerry. Jerry's, I talked Jerry about. He's like, he's like, yeah, it's not a good look. It's not a good look. <laughs> He won't be welcome at the meetings anymore. We're going with John Kerry, too. He's like, oh, yeah? I'm not done yet. <laughs> Kerry is the former Secretary of State. Ah, here he is working with some of the most powerful people. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love that stuff. I just love it. But it, but it legitimately is a kill shot, though. Like it's, we- it's just weird. <laughs> it's like, I get it, but. Uh, Bruce Mittman. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck he does. Powerful guy. And that agency Hobnobs. Guy. Owns the radio stations. He does. Yeah. He does. Yeah. He went back hard at Howie, huh? Did he? He did. I thought he did, yeah. From what I saw him. He's like nine followers, poor guy. <laughs> <laughs> they load up? Load up. All right, let's go. Blindmike.net, of course. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Which is where they really all started. Yes. Thank you. Yes. What's going on there? Hello. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's going on? Um, we, uh, Cullinane had an interesting program suggestion. We're going to uh, do a segment of all the racial slurs we can think of. Oh, good. And Dave said he's going to be watching live, I which is exciting. Well, yeah. he's, he's a huge fan. I can provide some notes. It'll be like. uh, only on Patreon. Good, good. good. Uh, and why are you laughing? This week's episode uh, that's on Patreon now will be coming out for free tomorrow is Mort Saul, which I think generally when it's episodes like that, that people either don't know or it's some old codger, mm-hmm. people tune out. But like, I find those oh, really interesting. I, I would, say, I would say check it out. Oh, thanks. Yes, yes, yes. yes. What's coming um, up next there? Uh, and then after that is uh, Charlie Sheen, uh, the Tiger Blood <laughs> fiasco. Wow. Touch and Rich were involved in that, remember? Were they? Well, involved. Remember, he was on their show. Oh, yeah, and oh, like, oh. And he was on a million radio in the middle of the night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like live, like in the peak yeah. of it. Yeah. yeah. It's like 1 a.m. or something. I remember John and Jerry, like, why would they? Like, I remember I was kind of around the studio at that point in the. Remember those guys like, why would they even have him on? That kind of thing. Like, yeah, 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 You guys are missing the boat here. <laughs> yeah, so we're breaking down that whole thing. And then uh, next week, the bonus uh, sort of mini episode. Well, I couldn't figure out how to fit it into a regular episode, so we're just going to do the Norm on the View segment. Oh, good. Excellent. Yes. Good, good, good. All right, there you go. Blindmike.net, please. Go subscribe. Thank you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. 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 <laughs> hello. He does it again. <laughs> yeah, you have to. You have to. <laughs> Good morning. This is Dave Conan's burner account on Twitter, Boston Radio Watch. Yeah. Get a load of this. On this day last week, I had no, I mean, excuse me, backspace, backspace. Cullinane had no idea he would be as popular as he is right now in the entire Minifan universe. Send tweet. 
They don't always work. Yeah. Oh, are these, he's, I assumed he was reading Conan's old tweets or something. No. I don't know. I, I just those figured those that was a bit. Oh, that's original work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> interesting. Yeah, <those> <laughs> I was like, oh, when well. would that have been? I like, actually, uh, hello, like, Kirk. It's Johnny Carson. Uh, hold on, John. Oh, boy. Hold on, John. Oh, boy. No, no. Oh, no. It's a bold, oh, it's a big swing. Oh. <laughs> wow. I was going to say before, John, before we talk to you, it is weird, Dave. Like, it's almost better that John Stewart is here. It's almost like he watches us. From That's there. what I oh, said. Yeah, nice. you're right. Yes. Right. He's like, he's looking right at you. Well, you can see. He's looking right at you. Oh, no. It's very, it's very <laughs> discomforting, I think. But it's almost like he's disapproving in a way. I don't know. Which is good, I think. It keeps us on our toes. Oh, he would not like the last few days. No, he'd be down there. He like, oh, big yeah. Big Felgram ass guy. Oh, that's yeah. true. You're right. <laughs> a big Thank God he's dead. Yeah. Jesus. That is one nice silver lining. God. But he, lo- but he loved that stuff, too. You love that stuff. You're right. That's what you'll yeah. tell I'm yourself. Sorry. No, I'm sorry he's yeah. dead. You're right. I'm conflicted. <laughs> go ahead, Johnny. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so, so Kirk, I, I, and sorry, it's been a long time since I've called. I did see I did see Alba at a star market in 2002, <laughs> so I've been constantly texting everyone I know to let them know. Well, that's, a, that's, a, that's a big event. I don't blame <laughs> that's, you. That's odd, John. For a guy of your stature. <laughs> you were alive in 2002. Does that make sense? Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, Kirk, I, I didn't know if you wanted to play a quick game of Karnak. Uh, oh, sure. Yeah. Do we need music for that, Johnny, or are you good without music? No, I think I'm good without music. Okay. Go Thank ahead. you, though. Sure. Doc Severinsen is up here. He's with me. Uh, we're fine. Uh-huh. Uh, okay. Johnny, can you explain to me how we were just talking before? You're kind of an expert guy. Mike was awfully confused about this new Barstool Baseball brand where there's 75 different <laughs> podcasts going on. I'm a little you, confused. Yeah. Can, you, can you explain that to us, Johnny, quickly, if you might? Well, there's 75 less podcasts than you think are going to happen. Um, there's no podcast at all. Okay. I, I, this is what I understand, at least uh-huh. up here. Uh-huh. And it's going to be mostly social media clips at first. Okay. But that's that's what I've heard. I, I don't know. People opening baseball cards and stuff like that. That sounds exciting. <laughs> I'm in uh, that sounds like Johnny's great well-versed cards. in today's <laughs> oh, media. Johnny, oh, Johnny's on top of it. Johnny's on Johnny, go ahead. Let's play a little card act, please. All right. Here we go. All right. Uh, Jerry Callahan. Jerry, Jerry Callahan. Callahan. Charles Stewart. Charles Stewart. This one might only be for you, Kirk. Uh-huh. And uh, Tony Maserat. Jerry Callahan, Charles Stewart, and Tony Maserati. All right, I'm uh, opening the envelope now. Uh, Massachusetts residents that wish Henry Ford was never born. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much, John. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. You as well. Uh, <laughs> there you go. It's good to have Johnny back. Full circle. Yes. It starts, ends where it starts or something. I don't even know. Big think, news. Do yeah. <laughs> you think eventually he'll be calling as Jerry? I mean, well, yeah. Taking that mat. Yes. <laughs> it's just going to be. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Hello. <laughs> that was funny. Kirk, it's Tony Maz. What's up? Tony. Oh, you sound much better. Go ahead. The floor is yours, buddy. I mean, l- let us have it. No, I don't I don't have any. I just have a lot of time on my hands, and I'm looking at the Patriots for next year. Oh, yeah. Do you think we should sign Lamar Jackson uh-huh. or Derek Carr? <sighs> you know what, Tony? I think they should sign Derek Carr. What do you think? I agree with you. I think Derek <laughs> oh, Carr is a oh. little, little more intelligent of a player. Oh, no, no, uh, Tony, Tony, no. I don't think you've – you said you were going to do some learning yes. yesterday. I don't know how cerebral he is or not. But, Lamar Jarrett, he's instinctual. He's oh, out there. He's no. running all around. No, uh, no. Dave, Dave, bang on this, Dave. You don't want – I know you have the audio now. But I that's, got it. I got it. Oh, jeez. Trying to help him out. Yeah. They don't lead well, I think, is what Tony was trying to say. As Al Campana said, they lack uh, certain uh, – <laughs> forget what he said. That was on Nightline with Ted Koppel. You know the story, right? I'm thinking of – Oh, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking of Jimmy the Greek at first, but yeah. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, Al they lack certain, not intangibles, but certain ingredients uh, to, to, to be managers in baseball. Yeah, yeah. It was leadership or something, wasn't yeah, it? And they, Ted Koppel was like, um, I'm not sure you want to say this. <laughs> yeah, Ted Koppel went to the phones like Mike Felger. And the two-year-old Dave Colony was crawling on his stomach <laughs> to get to the VCR. Expo- Exposed was his first word. <laughs> well, that's true. That's for sure. All right, load up. Load up. All right, hello. Uh, 
Hello, Welcome. Kirk. It's Rod Belding. How's it going? Oh, how, Rod, one second. Uh, Mike was going to say something. I was just going to say, yeah. Maz, instead of apologizing yesterday, should, should have play, played that clip of him saying that the street the Red Sox play on should be called Freedom Way. I feel like that, that? that would have exonerated. You don't remember that? That's right. I think it was a that's clip right. you guys used that's to play. Right. <laughs> well, called Freedom Way. <laughs> well, Maz one of these guys who was like super also pro Adam Jones, the Orioles player, that right. thing, and was like, Republicans are stupid, he said one time. So, like, I do believe he is like a hardcore right. lefty. Right. I have no doubt about that, which I think, you know, as we learned at the end of the day, they just want to eat. They just, once they get a smell of it. Oh, it's yeah. been quiet this morning, right? Yes, I believe so. You don't, so, you don't so think far, of that stuff, right, Dave? Dave? You well, don't I haven't really some. Never mind. Oh, good. You don't think of their political affiliation? No, never. That's Doesn't matter. You left or right. No, as long it's just as about it. making the world better. Have a nice a way of, you know. Everyone's a target. Hello, Rod. Hey, Kirk. Uh, I was hoping you could uh, provide a little bit of advice for me for a good friend of mine who's having a baby. Uh, good guy, good friend of mine. Uh, the only thing that's concerning is that he's such a – he's, like, obsessed with the B.C., like, basketball, football team so much to the extent – that he's thinking about naming the baby after John Meter Perel. Really? I was wondering if you could steer, steer him in the right direction here. Is this true? He called me last night. I get to talk to him. He's going to call him Meter or he's going to call him John? Well, the, the scary part is it's a girl. Uh, and he just wants to try out, like, Meter as a girl's name. That might take off, maybe. Hmm. No, I'm always wondering if this is a joke I'm missing because that's not possible. <laughs> that's is there, is it really true or no? Oh, I mean, this guy, I'm telling you, he's like a BC season ticket holder. He makes me go to the games. It's, it's awesome. Well, I love, well, I love I didn't Meter. Know that Good for him, I guess. I love Meter. So I, I, I could see Meter being a girl's name. It might take off me. I don't mind. I don't mind that at all. I think that's actually a good job. Nice by gamble. Guy. And Meter's a great guy. I would name my kid Sterling right, well, after John there we Sterling. Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not so crazy, I guess. But, well, thank you. Thank you for your help, Kirk. I appreciate it. Well, yeah, I mean, I don't think I helped you. What do you do? You yeah. the opposite. Right? I mean, I'm a meter guy, so I think that's actually not a bad name. Maybe. Meter. I need to hear the last name. Yeah. But that's not bad. See how it flows. Meter seems like, more like a boy's name. I don't know why. I guess. I mean, it's because he's hmm. meter. He's a guy, I guess. I suppose that's why. He's a wonderful guy. Hello. Doug, how insufferable is Dan Rappaport on full swing? It is disgusting it's it's i like dan he was very nice to me when i met him he kissed the ring it's a rough scene and it's also a rough scene that they're it's all like, trying to act like this is some agent of change the show nobody is talking about this show nobody 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 you're always very tough when he's not around i notice but when he calls in he's got a big well, personality the golf, the golf world's talking about it yeah, yeah. that's but i mean it hasn't it, but that's my point that's not they they already had those people they're trying to yeah. expand it with this yeah, yeah, yeah. it yeah. is not landed yeah it's, go ahead, go he's ahead. more hateable than Brooks Koepka and his wife. And that, yeah, that, was tough. Uh, that, that, was also, that was also a tough scene. Yeah, yeah. that was a tough yeah. scene. That was a tough one. Was Dan Rappaport, did he have like a big following? I don't know, golf. Yeah, I mean, he's got, when, when, he's got a couple hundred thousand followers, I think, on Twitter. Yeah. So any any golf fan would know him. I know he probably. was. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What's the background with, um, what's his name? Fitzgerald, Matt Fitzgerald. They went to Patrick. college together. Yeah. Oh, they went to college. Yeah. And he sucks him off. Nice guy. I like Dan though. I met him. He's very nice. Good guy. Like I, I but the, I, I don't even think he's particular. I just, I, I don't like that series. I'm probably alone in that. I don't, I'm okay with that. It's like a, it's a pleasant watch. It just didn't meet the hype. That's all. Yeah, yeah. I think that's right. Yeah, I don't hate that. Hello. Hey, Kirk. How's it going? Ah, uh, fine. Thank you. It's been, a, it's been a fun show. I think today. I think everybody's having a good time. I've enjoyed it so far. Hey, Thank uh, you. Oh, quick question for you. Okay. <laughs> quick, quick, quick question for you. Did you by chance watch the uh, Indiana-Michigan State college basketball game last night? Did I watch the Indiana-Michigan State college basketball game last night? I'm embarrassed to say I did not. <laughs> uh, that's all right. Um, the reason I'm asking, uh, it, it was the first home game for Michigan State since the, uh, the shooting that took place on campus. And uh, obviously, emotional game. Yes, yeah, Sam was covering it quite a bit. And uh, Jay Billis, I, I, I'm not uh -oh. accusing Jay Billis of lying or maybe the student of lying, but one of the two are lying for sure. Jay <clears throat> Billis said that he did an interview with a student on campus, and the student was just talking about shooting and how, I guess, skittish and um, afraid he is. And he said that uh, he was pumping his gas. And you, you know that noise the gas makes when you're pumping your car and it's, it's full? Yes, the, the, the student claims, and again, the student claimed, or maybe Jay Bills is lying, 
uh, that one, the, the noise that makes, they thought it was a gunshot. Oh, that and they feels, had to run and take cover. That, that feels a little strong, I will say. I, people are very skittish. Thank you for the call. I don't, I don't know. It's, that feels yeah, college season. College kids can get emotional. I will say that. I will say that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. No. It feels like that story is possible, but just the idea that Jay Billis. It feels. Yeah, it does feel. Is yeah. there for it or whatever you know? Yes. By the way, if you want my pick for this week, the Honda Classic. Chris Kirk, same last name as my first name, plus 138 to finish top 20. Okay. You know Place what? Pick to fade, folks. Please. No, my, if, again, if you bet a million dollars on one of my golf picks, you'd have over $75 million. So, there Chris you go. Kirk. I feel like that's going to be a line in the trailer for this good podcast. <sighs> well, it might be. We'll see. We'll see. Dave's got, Dave's got a chance to prove himself here in the next 48 hours. Hello. Uh, There's just so many things. I was just standing naked in the shower, thinking about calling it. I'm not sure. Like, I don't know what to do with you right now. You think racism's real. You're making racism real. You just played around with menors for half an hour at the beginning of the show, and you thought that was cute. It's amazing what you're turning into, Kirk, but you know what? You're not. You said that you don't change. So I feel for your kids. I feel for your future. This poor podcast, man. I'm confused. What do you mean? I want these. And he's gone. He's gone? Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, there you go. <laughs> Hello. You've made racism real? <clears throat> I think you said Colney did. But maybe oh, I did. Oh, maybe oh, I oh. did. I don't know. <clears throat> Hello. They load up, Dave? We're certainly trying to eliminate it, guys. I know, I know you are. I know that. <laughs> we'll oh, bring it mean? into the spotlight. I'm not sure which. Settle down, Mike. They load up, Dave? Yep. Hello. Congrats, Dave, and taking down Tony Mussolini. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I just wanted a quick update, and I, and I had a quick question. How, how you doing on the old, uh, you know, tub job the last couple of days? Didn't uh, didn't crank you it yesterday. In the same shower your kids use. How often do you tell little Chase and, and, and your daughter, "Oh, Daddy's gonna go take a shower." Daddy's going to go run to the bathroom really quick. He brings him with him. I don't think that. I think, yeah, he tries to keep it all We together. don't discuss this. We don't discuss this. But I'm, uh, I'm one day. I'm one day uh, jerk off free. Oh, is that yeah, true? Well you, got, well, you had your victory yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday, it was like one of those uh, yeah. automatic air fresheners. You didn't even need it. Every... Yeah, just, just, just the whole day. It was like, yeah. a, it was like a leak. TMZ. That's it. Oh, he's gone. Hey, Kirk, uh, Jake from Boston here. Listen, I'm kind of surprised Davey Boy was able to cancel Tony Spaz because the Globe should have canceled Felger like months ago for screaming, let's go Brandon, anytime Brandon from Boston calls. It's basically like a racial slur to the Globe liberals. And finally, I don't really listen to him any, anymore because I'm fascinated to see if Adam Jones will either kill Megan Ottolini or... Or hate fucker and ruin his marriage oh, and his life. The well, tension in that room. Is that true? I would listen is, if it's is, is it but is it real? Do they act on it or they pretend like they like each other? Oh no, they don't like each other. No, no, but he's they, either but, gonna hate fucker or he's gonna kill her. We heard you. Yeah. And it's gonna I want it on camera when it happens. Well, it's sure. gonna happen. Okay, the well, tension good. in that room is just unreal. Well, thank you, Jake. I suppose. I feel like I call her like Jim Rome or something. He was really getting to his points and Wait, punching up. Uh, what does Rome say? What is it? Uh, takes takes a uh, takes. I know they're clones. They used to be clones. No, right. oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. That's right, clones. I can't remember. The smack off is what his uh, big right. call said. They still do that? I have no idea. No. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Um, I'm about your age, and I'm a big Springsteen fan, but not nearly like you are. I have two questions about Springsteen that maybe you can answer for okay. me. Uh, in your hometown, when he's talking about sitting on his dad's lap driving through town, mm -hmm. and he, the line is, he tassels my hair. Right. Why isn't it tussle? Well, I think it is. I think I think that's just pronunciation of it, if you go to the lyrics, I believe. All right, so I'll check that out. And then the last one is the glory days. Yep. Why did you say throw the speedball by you? I don't know. Fast? I don't know why that was. I think it's just, I think it sounds better, like lyrically. I think. It's always bothered me, though. Nobody ever calls it a speedball. I agree. No, I agree. It's, it's a weird phraseology. I would agree with that. But you All throw right, that fastball, hey, yeah, speedball sounds better. All right, Mike is the best. Oh, thank you. Sure is. Is he a, is he a fraudulent baseball fan, you think? Uh, 
Uh, it's been said, not by me, but people have said that. Okay. There's no reason to look into his past. Leave him alone. Well, Dave? He's an old man. Let him be. No. <clears throat> Hello. I, I, I've been in the I've been in the audience at plenty of ball games where they were throwing speed balls. I don't know what that last call <laughs> is talking about. <laughs> that's been the old, that's been the speculation by Springsteen fans as well over the years. By the way, is that was that's what he's talking about? But I don't think so. Kirk, uh, um, when you left when you left Entercom, you had to sign like a, a non what would you call non disparity agreement or something like that. Um, I think so. I violated it, but yeah, I think I had to. Is that is that in perpetuity or is there is there like no, a sunset no, no, on that? No, 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 no. It was it was I think it was like so, criticize David Field. I mean, I did right away because I remember my, I was talking to some of my lawyers and they're like, they can't even enforce this. It's not I don't even know why they're doing it. So I was like, all right, well here we oh, go. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So I guess I have two questions. Would that would that preclude you from ever writing like a memoir about everything that went down at Entercom and, and I mean, is, is, is do you it, have any it, interest in doing that? In your mind, is, is this what this Friday show you're dreaming about is going to be like? <laughs> Questions like this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, honestly. How do you think your boy did today? Menners. I thought he, I mean, it's, I, I don't envy anyone going up against you, but I thought, I thought he did as about as well as anyone could do. Yeah, I thought he fought but the good I, fight. I, it was a good argument. I thought he fought the good fight. We haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, I thought he fought the good. I mean, I, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm glad you guys had him on. Sure, why not? I just think he couldn't. I, I whatever. I mean, he was inflexible, but that's okay. But I, but I also think like he like is in love with Tony Maserati, which is very odd. But like I'm I'm not writing. Yeah, about, and I just I'm think not, he was dead wrong. Of course, but I'm, uh, thank you. But I'm not going to write. I'm not writing a memoir. I have no desire to do that. None. I live a memoir. Like I talk about the stuff all the time. You have it. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Well, what about what about getting together with Greg Poehler and doing like a like I could see a HBO miniseries, like a fictionalized version of of you. What in the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you never thought you got a good story. Yeah, Greg, you got you got Tangway, you got Greg Poehler, you got two of the greatest living oh. American writers. Right. Interesting. I'm a writer. I, I can handle myself. Thank you. On Paramount Plus. Jesus, I, I, I Poehler reached out. Did he reach out to you or no? No. Oh, he said he's around next few weeks, so oh, okay. reach out to him. I said right. to him maybe next week. Okay. If he wants to. I don't know. I haven't seen him in a while, I don't think, right? No. Not since when? Last year? Uh, Christmas time? August or July? Oh, that yeah. long? Yeah, it's been a while. This past. Oh, I thought he was here over Christmas. No, is that wrong? No, no, no. No, because we... Clemmer oh, was. he was going to. Right? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. He couldn't do it. <clears throat> I think Menners, by the way, at a certain point, like he did a good job arguing with you. I thought I he did fine. I think at a certain point, kind of agreed with... The points we were making, yeah, yeah and was like, I, I can't just fold in my arguments. So I got to keep going. No, I think he liked the idea. That he got on the show, like he says, yeah. "Oh, we're like Shirley and Bob," and then we get mad. That's fine, whatever. Hello, hello, hello. I have one question for Dave Cullinane, uh -huh. and one question for Blind Mike. Okay. I think this is a third. Uh, I, yeah. Yeah, third. <laughs> go ahead. You want to ask Dave first? Go ahead. You, you go for it, Dave. On the day your mother-in-law died, did you masturbate or oh, no? That's a fair hmm. question because it was later in the day. I, I don't. Uh, I think I did masturbate that day. Before yes. or after? Or during? Uh, I don't remember the timing. I I would assume before I got the news, I masturbated. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Not immediately after you're saying. Blind Mike. No. Yes, sir. Blind Mike. When you had to change your grandma's colostomy bag, did you get horny or no? Oh. <sighs> Uh, I did, but I don't think it was related. I think it just happened to be, you know, sometimes you, the mood strikes you. Hmm. I like the idea that he thinks it's a, a question, though. Like, he's not assuming you did or you didn't. He just right. feels like it's worth asking. Right. No, that's nice. Yeah. They're, they're always very uh, balanced when yeah. they ask their questions. So you were not turned on sexually by that? No. No. no, no I wouldn't no. think you would be. Some people might be. Well, if you search long enough on the internet, I'm sure you'll find people who are. I would think so. Know. Hello. Hey, guys. Good morning birthday happy birthday. happy birthday and i am celebrating uh, thank you appreciate it how old are celebrating you? in two ways well hold on don't tell me how old you are. i am 47 okay. today yeah. mike, oh sorry are. i was gonna have you oh. guess mike are you good with voices like that would you have guessed 47 this or no i might have said early 40s yeah but yeah Ooh, i would have said way younger he you sounded younger than me. oh okay yeah. go ahead so i'm celebrating two ways mm -hmm. first of which is standing in the shower mm -hmm. and the water hit the tip of my penis until i released Yep. Second of which, I will be traveling up to Portland next month with my friend and Mutt's friend, Scott from Quincy. Oh, my God. You're friends with that guy? Are you actually friends with that guy? The guy at the New Balance gym? Really? I, 
I've known him for a very long time. He's a good man. He's the most annoying fucking what? person in the world. <laughs> you hate him so much. He's everything I hate. He's like an on person. He talks. He's a talker. Ugh, ugh. He's just a guy that works at the gym. Yeah, I think he was a manager, and he's like, oh my, he's a, he's a, one of these guys who thinks he's got the only kid in the world. Uh, he would tell you, am I right, uh, caller? <laughs> he loves my kids too. Yeah, well, well, believe me, I'm sure he does. But he, but he's, you know, be like, oh my daughter. Da, da. I'm like, you think the only fucking person has got a fucking kid? Right. You know. You should have said that to him. Like, I, some, like, he did a show once. I was like, in that way, without, you know, I was like, you know, we've all got kids. Nice. He's a nice guy. Is he still at that place? He is. Yeah. Manager of the gym. Baldwin's got his belly as big as the fucking day is long. He's a manager of that gym. Well, have a good time. Thanks. I will say this. I tried in the shower yesterday. I was going to masturbate, but I, I put my, put the hot water on the tip of my penis. It did nothing for me. No. Well, I'm just telling you, didn't, I didn't have a reaction to it. Well, it's just like the hot water hitting that area. Like, it's well, I understand a, the area, yeah, but it yeah. doesn't. It didn't do anything for me. No, no, it's too much pressure on it. Really? I think Dave's got flashbacks to that. Must, the thing he got in the, the place oh, in Rhode Island. I think Island. about that all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 And they, when they when they cleaned you up, <laughs> the sponge. Yeah, I guess what you think about. Yeah, I definitely think about it. Oh, yeah. interesting. It was like a pressure washer. It's crazy. Has has your new uh, popularity at all derailed the Family Feud run potential? Uh, a feud update or no? Like, would you have to be on Celebrity Family Feud now? It wouldn't shock me if I got the call, but I'm not. I'm, I'm going to. I feel like, like they might have some it. sound of Steve Harvey. You might use against him unless he gets on the show. <laughs> I think it might be out there already. Yeah, maybe some different stuff. I don't know with him. You know, who knows? No progress. I got to I gotta pick my spot bringing this up with the family. So be yeah, soon. They're all traveling. They're all traveling for the week. So. Well, sooner rather than later. Yeah. Mm. Hello. <sighs> Hello. Hello. W Town guy here. Who? Congratulations. Yeah, I just wanted to defend uh, all W Town people and state that Felder's lack of admonishment uh, for Maz in real time does not represent uh, what a true W Town man stands for. And I just wanted to state that. So, uh, yeah, fuck you, Felger. Much obliged. Thank mm. you. Much I was, obliged. I was not aware Felger was from a W Town. I don't know either. Oh, I do. <laughs> Combining his two greatest passions. Hello. Um, if you're in a, two questions for you, if possible. Um, if you're in a clean public bathroom, like a, a lobby of a hotel, do you use the toilet covered tissue that they provide? Do you use toilet paper, or do you just go? I mean, I, I raw dog. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would use toilet. I don't like the one that they issue. I'm not a fan of that one. I will use toilet paper sometimes, but usually, I, I have to. Yeah. I usually put faith. If it's a clean bathroom, I think we're in, we're in, we're in business generally. Okay, good. Yeah, same. And I question myself Goodness, every yeah. time I do it, but <laughs> glad to know that you... Uh, and then um, you talk about lunch all the time. Is that yeah. your most important meal of the day? It's my favorite meal of the day. Breakfast? It's my favorite meal of the day because the one I'm almost certainly going to have alone. Are you a breakfast guy? Not really. I don't think quick. so. No, no, no. But you'll have like a granola bar or something. Yeah, or like a little, like a piece of toast with peanut butter or right, something. Right, okay. I'm not building my day. No, no. Lunch is a good one because I can, I can have my book. I could take some notes. I could think a little bit, you know. It's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Lunch is a great meal. I like that he said that's good to know about you. and Like, it gives him peace. Oh, well, yeah. I would imagine. Yeah. People take me very seriously, Mike. You know, I don't blame him. You got to live your life. I mean, you can't be sitting there every time you're taking a shit. They're pissed to fucking, you know. Right. I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's only so many man. minutes yeah, in the day. I mean, really. I get it if it's a sh if it's a complete disaster zone, sure. Of course, or just a dirt, a bathroom where you get the vibe. Yes, you know? that's what, yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. Hello. They load up, Dave. Kirk. Load up. Yeah. Kirk. Uh huh. Fred Tatra. Hello, Fred. We're trying this again, huh? Yeah. I talked to I talked to Tony. Oh, He's yeah. upset with Felga. Is he? Yes. He's upset with Felga and John Stewart from Worcester. Okay. This isn't working for me, Dave, i got to say. We're the girl for two. How about you, Mike? I guess I don't know enough about Fred's voice situation to I think he's struggling with it. I, I, okay. I, I've heard I have not that. heard it. I know, neither have I. I am interested now in this, uh, i got to say, this Adam Jones, Megan Adeline, which I predicted, this sort of... Will they, won't they? Passive-aggressive, yeah. <laughs> like, I could see her hating him, but uh, not. neither one will ever admit it on the air. Right. It's like uh, Holly and um, uh, uh, Mike Salk. Why would that be? Just because they were... 
both she was supposed to be the host of the show or something. Yeah, I think she likes Twitter people liking her, and nobody likes him on Twitter. That whole thing. Right. Neither of them picked each other. No. You know, no, so no, that's no. probably Arranged frustration. Marriage for sure. Yeah. But so Mike and the Mad Dog, you know, it worked out. Well, they hated each other. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Time, yeah. Well, it was probably in the same. There'll probably be conventions for these two. <laughs> Out of con. Like, oh my God, they're, reu- they're reuniting again. <laughs> there was some headline that that boosted ratings, that show. It was oh, awful, yeah? but yeah. It was also the day that Brady retired, though. Right. Hello. Hello? Yes. I have a question for yeah. Kirk. Yeah, I have a question for Blind Mike. Okay. What, what, you can ask me first if you'd like. Sure. Uh, Kirk, what's more hideous looking, Andy Mayo's face or the inside of a, of a vagina? Are we talking like deep inside? Are we talking menstruating yeah. or what's, I need full, does the menstrual cycle on or off? Uh, menstru- menstrual cycle on. Andy Mayo's face. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I have to say. It's nice. It's a horrible thing. It's not his fault. It's just a horrible, you know. It's oh, a, Andy Mayo's face is worse. I'm sorry. Worse. I misunderstood the phrase. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Much worse, much worse. I can't do two hours of that, Dave. I know he's been petitioning to come in. I can't do two hours of that. Inter- There's a question from Mike as well. Uh, he did. Go ahead. But I can't. you can't do two hours of that interview, right? You don't want That'd that, That'd be tough. You? That'd be tough. Yeah, I mean, play along at least. Go ahead, Mike. Hello, Kevin. Boy, Mike? Yes. Uh, uh, boy, Mike, would it be suicidal if I saw you naked or no? It depends on what your uh, got tolerance is, you know? Yeah. Everyone's got a thing. I sure. Don't know. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. I've seen them naked. No, I don't think so. <laughs> yes. And I asked, would you want to kill yourself yeah. or no? Dave is video you naked all over the place. He's still he? here, yeah. isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought it, but yeah. Mike was fascinated that there was a Twitter account that, what was it? S.C. Robinson oh, yes. Jr.? Did you, I, tweeted, I tweeted at the wrong time. People were focused on other things, but I was fixing no, it. It's in no way related to Steve, right? I don't think so. I I, I did because I looked. I was like, "Oh, that's that must be another parody account." Yeah, but it's just a guy. Do you, Te- think, it's, do you think it's Steve's son? Tesla was. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> remember, remember, he's got that. He banging his fifteen. Fifteen. So the kid would be how old now? Seventeen. Yeah. Eighteen. I could like see him like a young whippersnapper like Steve was. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a Steve tweet. <laughs> Like in that same world, yeah, right? All about Te- Tesla. Tesla yeah. was trending yesterday, and I cl- I was curious why, so I clicked. And the first tweet, S.C. Robinson Jr. had uh, over like a million impressions or something. It was from S.C. Robinson Jr. I swear to God, when he did. I was like, oh, is Steve? Because Steve's doing like I saw today. He's just tweeting at Seven Rangas King in Maine. Yeah. I was like, is Steve doing like some bit right now where he's pretending to be S.C. Robinson Jr. that I don't know about? <laughs> no, I think he's just some like, guy. I was like, no, it's not. It was a totally different human being. He follows me now. Because well, you he doesn't it. follow you. But it must be because you tweeted. Yeah, I'm assuming. Yeah. 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 Huh. We should find out. I don't, I don't think I want to talk to this person, but yeah. <laughs> find out, Mike. All right, I'll try. Hello. All aboard! Yes, it is. Yes, yes. It's me again. Don't get too happy. I just want to let you know that, like, I don't Montante like last night put a knife to his throat, all right? And we got a picture of it. And you think that People that I don't even know what he was talking about. Menor is getting him in trouble. Menor's let him know that he was gonna like he told him to delete that first, and then he posted it to be funny. Like you make what these is, things what up, is, Kirk. What like, is the, they're I, so I, extraordinary. I, I, what is a knife? It's very what is, weird what is when a, you get super knife? happy about Menor's and months. What does a knife? I'll, I'll, have, what does a knife have to do with? What are we talking? About? I'm lost here. Well, well, I mean, this is all. What does a knife have? To I do just with? think you think that that people don't like you. You think that Montante is gonna what? like he's gonna get himself in trouble. What does a just knife? Like did. What does a like, knife? What, what does do a knife this. have to do with anything? I'm confused. Did he actually put a knife to? You mean like metaphorically? No, he was ready to do it. When last? I get people was? like really get close to doing things. You know, like hence me bringing up trains recently. We're just trying to make things change as fast as possible because you don't want to do that. You said that earlier. But I don't care if so you, I'm trying but to get you but to but change a little. But I don't care if you jump in front of a train, though. I don't care if you do that. I'm never going to do that. Please, that's, could you please do There's too many people it? on this earth to torture for me to do that. That's a good point. I'm sorry. I, I appreciate, appreciate, it. I appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That's a fair point. That's a fair, coherent, good call for a change from him. I always figure out who he is through context because you guys react to him. I never recognize the voice right really? away for some reason. Oh, that's yeah. to me one you guys always say, oh, this guy, and I have no fucking idea who he is. I'm one of the few people I don't dislike him. I just think he's just, like, I don't, I just don't know what he's doing. He's a fan of the show. Yeah. yeah. Like he was in fucking Mississippi. Like I, but I just don't quite get what's going on. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. He, I remember he messaged me and got mad at me because I said, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. I don't, he's, like, I, he's like, oh, you're avoiding the question. I was like, no, I, I 
can't figure out what you're talking about. Was his point that there was more context to the Mont- to Menor's posting about Menor's Montante? reached out to Montante and warned him before. But, is, but most people seeing that tweet didn't know that. So what's the uh, difference? What do we do? Who cares? Yeah, I don't know. Who cares? Montante's racist. He'll be here Friday. Dave's gonna cancel him. We know this. This is Dave. Oh, this I want to cancel him after yesterday. This is a actually. clear yeah. setup. For the, they're bringing Montante on yeah. that front. And the point is, Dave and Menners have both done that to people. Both sandbagged people. Correct. And if you think this this nickel and dime mortgage company in Arkansas is not fucked now that Dave's <laughs> got what's your face in on Friday, it's 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 Dave's gonna one by one bring him down. One by one by one. <laughs> Hello. If I was a Stewart family, I would just ask for an autopsy, Mike. That's all Hello. Say. Hello. <laughs> Get him out of the picture. John just, hey, God just, critical. John just uh, that, I will say. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no you go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, it's, it's, it's Trent from Texas. I'll be there next week or next month. Boy, Trent, I'm hearing, I'm hearing, all, I I, I'm hearing that you're reaching out to like 5 million men of fans. Like, can you just relax? Just relax. I got to talk. Just, no, just, I, I understand that, but I want to ask you a couple of questions because a few people, like Montante was the first one that I reached out to. Minner said, hey, come on, get some practice. Yeah. Well, now I'm to the point where last night, Jay, if you know who he is, just I don't know the, who the fuck he just is. Just called the show. Told me that, do what? He, well, I know that. I don't know him personally. I don't think I can he do this, He told Dave. me that. Dave, I, Dave, this is one of the worst. Saving well. this guy's life. Yeah. yeah. Is that a regret or no? A little bit. He All sounds right. like he was about to give you the Go business. Ahead. You didn't hang up on him, did you? No, I didn't Go ahead, Go Trent. Ahead. Go ahead, Trent. No, I was just going to say, Jay in on Twitter last night advised me to bring a gun to the live show. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> I don't know what he's planning or if he's just trying to be a what do you? What do you, what do you, what do you what, what am I, how am I supposed to respond to this, Mike? What am I supposed to say to this? How fucking crazy are these fans? <laughs> I think Mike has said this before. He's like, oh, they're not crazy than the other fans. You don't think so? Ah. <sighs> We, we we highlight the craziest. <laughs> What's the one that Brandon does with Casey? What's that called? Unnecessary roughness. Yeah, you think their fans are nuts like this? <laughs> well, you know, I think there are people that listen, listen to, to that. Listen to this that guy. You on. Did you get that? No, no, no. <laughs> Trent, what is your, I like you, Trent. You're a good guy. I like you. What is your fucking point? I just, I mean, it's odd to me that someone would go out of their way to point out that you should bring a gun to a country. That's, yes, that's, that's, that qualifies as odd. I'd say that's odd. Event. Trent, if I were you, I'd bring one. I'd say it's more than odd. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, but these fucking well, people, I, the I, I bring, I'm going to bring one. Steve's going to have one. <sighs> that's the thing is they got that in their head because when I went on Minner's show, which I was I freaked out about already because Colonnane was busting balls. Trent, I Trent, like, hey, Trent, 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 Trent. I don't give a shit about any of this, buddy. I don't care. Okay, okay, sorry. It's okay. No, I like you. You're a good guy. I like you. I'm looking forward to having you here. Just keep your head above the clouds. Don't worry about it. You come here in, in March and come and do the show. You're going to go to the show in Maine. We're going to have a good time. Everything else is just, everyone's just fucking around having a good time. Don't take it all seriously. All right. Okay? All right, that's all I needed. All right, buddy. I'm sorry about that. Don't apologize. It's okay. Have a good one. All right, you too. This guy brings right, a thanks, this, man. this guy brings a gun into the fucking yeah, pat him down. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel this guy, please, Dave. That's, I'll say that's not what I expected him to sound like. Trent? Yeah. He's nuts. What do you expect him to sound? Normal? No, no. I expect him to sound more like uh more like the guy that calls and also has impersonators that call. Oh yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, he sounds yeah. more uh, coherent than I thought. I think so, yeah. Hello. Was that McFustaddy, by the way, the other day? Was that his name that we pulled out or no? Yes. But he couldn't make the show. Oh, yeah, he, yeah, he, he tried. Make. Oh, did he? He tried his damnedest, but it was too How do you short notice? notice. I've heard through the grapevine. I heard from people at the show that may have uh, housed him <laughs> had, yeah. had he made it up. Those are the people that he would have given his ticket to if that person's name wasn't drawn. Actually, <laughs> This person was housed other people in this place, correct? <laughs> and maybe texting. <laughs> yeah, texting about it, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good God. Hello. How was the how was the conversation if you want to talk about it at home after this whole situation? Oh, there was no there's no hostility. No, I understand anger. that, but is it more like is there any part of you that's like, why are you talking to this guy just in general? Well she's not <laughs> she's not. No, no, but no, but I just mean like why are you still continuing to respond to this human being's text? It's the same reason. No, I don't say that because it's the same reason I respond to people where I'm like, why am I responding to this? Yeah. It's just, you know, you're put. How long do they work together for? Could be that long. Couldn't, right? No, couldn't have been that long. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. All right. Hello. Colin, Colin's got all the info. I don't even know why I'm asking yeah. you. Yeah, let, let me know. <laughs> God, let me. Yeah, what's up? Is there any truth to the rumor that back in 2014, 
for Halloween, you dressed up as known racist Tony Maserati. I don't want to comment on that. Oh, wow. Uh, I don't think there's any reason to bring that up right now. It might have been a live television production. I was a good ordered by management to do so that day. That's all I'll say on the record for that right now. Uh, my team, my legal team, led by Mike Portnoy, will answer all questions going forward on that issue. Well, it's be, it might be better to get ahead of it. All right, thank you, sir. You're welcome. I, I can't, look, I can't control. I've been told by legal what to do, and that's what I'm saying about Okay, that. that's fair. It's fine. Yeah. I will say Jerry provided me some potential lines to use as Tony that day. I did not use them. <laughs> I've heard him say this a lot. I swear. <laughs> <sighs> Hello. Hi, hi, baby Dave. It's your sister, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello, Cheryl. I saw you on TMZ. I figured it was about us. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you I thought that might have been break. together. <laughs> yeah, we got it, Cheryl. Yeah. <laughs> Which Dave denied, Cheryl, for the record, yep. just so you know, Dave. He sort of did. Case, case closed. It is Dave's way, Cheryl. I don't know if he's ashamed or if he's telling the truth, but he's denying that you two have ever uh, consummated their relationship sexually. Well, I'm calling in to confirm. We did. <laughs> we did it. Well, hide no more, Dave. That's kind of <laughs> nice. You're free. <laughs> okay. Would you guys like to maybe engage in some phone sex? No. Okay. That is a definite no-no. Cheryl, I you? Would. Okay, go no, ahead, Cheryl. Oh, yeah. Go ahead, I Cheryl. Would. I'm <laughs> sitting here with mom, you know, just drinking. Yeah. Go ahead. And I'm here with Denise, too. I can give the phone over to Denise if you want to talk to Denise. Yeah, dude, go ahead. Would you <laughs> rather? See how this one plays out. <laughs> Don't you? Show us your range, Cheryl. <laughs> Hi, Dave. It's Denise. <laughs> oh. Does that actually sound like Denise Dave or not? No. I'm the sister you haven't slept with. I'm the innocent one. A little jealous. Yeah. Wow, boy. The anticipation for her must be overwhelming. Oh, he's so smart and so handsome. <laughs> he is smart, isn't he? I heard I heard he masturbates all the time. Really gets me going. Does that get you going, Dave? What kind of family is this, Dave? This isn't uh this isn't the Denise I'm used to. Oh. This didn't happen on the... He's not, no. a, uh, <laughs> not as sexually charged. <laughs> this didn't happen with Kim Carrigan and uh, no, VB? Didn't, no, it didn't. <sighs> well, thank you. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. You hung up on him? Yeah. I can't believe it. I'll tell you a sad thing I just learned about myself, thanks to Dave, <laughs> mm -hmm. is that when Dave said, no, I'm not going to do that, it dawned on me that I would have. <laughs> would have what? I would have just done, if it was like my mom called in, was yeah. like, I was like, all right, here we go. <laughs> Let's go into it. <laughs> yeah, you want to do it anyway, ultimately. There's no, you can't stop these people. <laughs> Jesus. Hello. Hey, Kirk, how's it going? It's the MILF Manor guy. Oh, wow. Okay, boy. So much has been going on, Dave. We forgot about MILF Manor. Oh, right. all right. What's new? We probably had the best episode yet. This one was an absolute doozy. Wow. <laughs> um, okay. So we had a uh, we had a new – well, first we kicked out a mother and son that just – they were probably the most normal. They weren't really doing anything, so we had to kick them to the curb, and we brought in a new, uh, a new family. And they're, uh, they're something else. So the activity this week was to have the mothers teach all the sons about sex and, like, the proper way to go down on a woman and all that good stuff that you want your mom teaching you. Sure. Um, so the, there was many props, sex toys, fruits, everything in need. Um, fruits, yeah. yeah. So this new guy, I believe we have another Ryan, um, he absolutely went down on an orange in front of all the mothers. <laughs> and I think he I might don't... be the new, uh, the, the, new, uh, the new guy the mothers have their it's eye on. on television, huh? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay, good for him. Yeah. And then um, in a joint confessional, Dave, I know you love the joint confessional love with Disco oh, Mommy and her son. Mm -hmm. um, Disco Mommy let the world and her son know in that confessional that she is uh, actually a squirter. So oh, that was uh, some pretty wow. cool information no that we didn't know. Wow. How did the son react to that? Um, as you'd expect, he was pretty disgusted, but it kind of looked how? like he had, he was kind of like proud of his mom for that. Well, sure. It's a weird I'm dynamic. Curious got... about that. Yeah. I mean, it's not, it's nothing to be You're ashamed of. It's nothing to be proud of either though. No, it's kind of a You're free born with it. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Like Norm and, um, it's not I know you guys have been Correct. on the edge of your seat waiting about this love triangle that we got going on between Stephanie, Gabe and Ryan. And, Stephanie, uh, Gabe and Ryan. Stephanie yeah. is a Stephanie is quite the hellraiser. She is um, oh, 
She's given okay. Disco Mommy a run for her money as the talk of the show. So that's been, uh, it's been pretty fun to see. Okay. How many episodes left? I feel like we've, it's been a while now. We're on episode six. We're going to episode seven next week. And uh, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but the next on was pretty juicy. We had a uh, Disco Mommy and Jose sneaking out of the house at night. So oh, wow. uh, oh, we'll wow. see what that's all about. Wow. Jesus. Stephanie Johnson from so North one of this guy one of these guys went down on an orange. You're saying? It's exactly. How do you, yeah, how do you, so how they do you had showcase? like a mannequin. Of, they had like the mannequin of a woman, and then he put the orange right at the private area, and okay. then just went to absolute town on that thing. I feel like maybe a better play would have been like a a popsicle or a lollipop or something. No. Like, well, I think uh, a, a the lo- guy went well, pop a popsicle well, is it's yeah, a guy, it's a guy going. The down. guy went down. Well, what is he doing to the orange? He's just like licking the orange. Well, he's eating. Like, yeah, what are you doing? Like, peeling the orange out. with your teeth? Do you know what the then... vagina is? Dave? Yeah, but like, you're you, peeling the orange with you think, your teeth. You think the guy should? <laughs> oh, so the orange is peeled. I would think and so. Now, oh, interesting. Yeah. I love yeah. the orange idea. Though. It's like yep. an orange cut in half. It's like an orange cut in half. <laughs> it's yes. fucking dumb. Went to okay. <laughs> All right. I like this idea now. How's a guy going to go down a popsicle? <laughs> oh, I was just thinking like an orange without being, <laughs> well, without, it's a, it's without a, being peeled. What do you do? It's like, what do you do? Well, it's like you're, I mean, do like, we need to, to, do I need to demonstrate to you? Does he have to use his teeth to peel the orange type of thing? No. So well, it, now it makes you sense. You peel a vagina with your teeth? No, I was saying if it was just, go on. Go on. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I like the idea of this guy ripping into the orange. That's what I mean. I wonder. What's he doing? What's he doing? All right, thanks, Milf Manor guy. Uh, you load up, Dave? Yeah, load up. I'll take a few more. Talking about Milton's, of course, in a moment. Dave sounds like Steve Carell in uh, 40 Year Old Virgin. <laughs> he does. <There's> sandbags. <laughs> Hello. Hey, I have some uh, initials to quiz Dave on. Uh, it's uh, T F D E. Hold on. T F B. Are you writing it down, Dave? Yeah. What do you mean? T- you just look at it. T F B E. Is that what you said? D or B? T F D is in dad. E. I have no idea. Two fucking dead eagles. Could be. Yep. <laughs> All right. Sorry to bother you, boys. <laughs> Call back it. next week. <laughs> Could be right. So Tony's Fuck Doll Emporium. This oh. is Matt. How you doing, Dave? Oh, hey, Matt. Oh. What's up? It's been a while. Good. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I really see a reason I've been confusing your father and your father-in-law is that they're actually both customers. Hmm. Oh, oh, interesting. Okay. What a turn. Uh, I have your father's doll in today. He's been trying to suck it from the back, but he can't quite reach even on his tippy toes. So I took two inches <laughs> off both the ankles. Uh, I just wonder if you could confirm his height to see if I'm kind of getting close here. What do you have? It seems unprofessional to call in with this information. Why? I'm just saying you're kind of exposing your customers. Is that, is, that, is that technically medical medical information? No. Uh, are, we, are we violating any HIPAA? No, I was going to be ashamed of. This guy's trying to get the conversation going. I suppose. Well, what what height, he is advertising, which is What good. height do you have him at, TFDE? Uh, but right now, she's about 4'8", and he says he kind of can't get up there yet. Does that sound about right, Dave, or no? No, that is inaccurate. What is his height? I would say it's more 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, Gee, see a little guy, huh? <laughs> right? nah, maybe, maybe a little, little bigger than that. Yeah. Maybe. So he's about your height. He's not, yeah. he's not five ten and three quarters like me. So he, you're, okay. you tower right. over So you're him. both five ten and three quarters. I don't tower over him. He's probably, yeah, he's probably like five nine. Okay. Do you think your father and father in law know one another goes there or like they see they each must, other? Like, that must be oh, weird brother. when they see each other, yeah. And give each other a look like, you know, you don't tell him. It's a drive through service, so. though, I think. Yeah, I was going to say, it seems like a, they're, it's great on I just think it's service. Yeah, it's drive through service. It's one to one, I feel yeah. like. Yeah. You could choose to go in or no. I don't believe so. No, I think it's probably pandemic related still. Oh, interesting. I think. I don't yeah, know. Oh, so that ask, keeps I mean, anonymity. Yeah, that's <clears> if you'd like to ask Matt, you could. Ask who? Yeah, Matt. Matt's concurrent. Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm Matt. Oh, Matt, I'm yeah. sorry, Matt. Matt I'm Continue. sorry. Sorry, yeah, please. Uh, that's it. I said Matt's encourage. It is still kind of a COVID safe thing. But anyway, but I'll be done by about five-ish. Can you come pick up scales after work? Yes, I can. Thank you. It calls uh, scale. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much he loves he eating scallops. The man loves eating scallops. <laughs> scallops. Could do that on Milf Manor, maybe. <laughs> Ow! I guess. <laughs> Hello. Kirk, it's your good friend, Stu Fina. How are we doing? Hello, Stu. Biggest question in America that you haven't answered. Are you going to come to my pool party next month at my house? I was not invited, Stu. Um, I probably wouldn't, if I'm being honest. I saw you open the pool nice and early. I, I would say it's probably a pass for me. 
Well, you know, you know, I love you. You're part of my family. I figured Blind Mike can come down to we can compare our nipples, if that's okay. Sure. <clears throat> Seems insensitive. I'm a, you know, I'm a big, I'm a big, I'm, I'm a big pool guy. I'm not. I've never been a big you fan of the beach. Of, no, I know I like the beach. I've never been a big fan of swimming. No. Nah. Not even on a hot day. Nah, like I'll do it, but I've never been like. Like when these kids would like, all right, we're going to the beach for the whole day. I was always like, oh, oh no, I'm gonna jump fuck. in, jump out, jump in to cool off. Yeah, like, yeah, like my grandparents had, my mom's parents had one, but it was good to jump in the pool. But after like 20 minutes, I was like, I kind of want to go inside and watch TV. Makes sense. You know, I don't know. Good. You had another question though. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, question for Dave Cullinane. As somebody who loves his sister very much, are you Team Teresa Judice or Team uh, Joe Gorga? Team Joe Gorga. To the end of the earth. No question. Yeah, yeah. Ter- I mean, Teresa, listen. Let's, She's a scumbag. Absolutely scumbag. Yeah. Yeah. Not familiar with yeah. this. Yeah, Neither am I. Yeah. <clears throat> Hello. Hey, Kirk. How you doing? Uh, fine. Thank you. So, so the other day when talking about Family Feud, Dave said that he would be in the A slot because he's a genius and he's a 9.5. Yeah. Dave. You rate yourself a 9.5. Do you think you'd be a 10 if you had actual human-sized ears? Oh, that's hmm. a good question. Is that, that, is that what keeps you at 9.5? It has helped me back a little bit, like through some of those years where the average went down. What I the, felt like about the was... skin diseases that you have? Does that affect no, you? No, that's really people look past that stuff. Okay. Yeah, really? That hasn't been an issue You rate it where you look? You know, the fact that you're hideously deformed skin <laughs> doesn't affect you? Well, I think you're exaggerating that okay. a little bit. It's just odd that that's... if you're rating someone literally on their looks, yeah. Yeah. not to be a little vain. Yeah, it just feels like... It's a little bit exaggerated here about okay. the skin issues. The ears are a problem. Right. I mean, yeah, the ears are definitely a problem. That's what you think that's what it is? Though, like I said the other night, nobody in public has ever called out those ears. So, these ears. Other than me, you mean? Other than you. Okay. And that kid in fifth grade or whatever. All right. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Well, you can find out what he's doing and cancel him. Well, and some guy the other night said Dave has small ears. That John Stewart event. That's true. We brought him up. He had yeah. much bigger ears. He had big ears, that guy, though. Some people have enormous ears. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's always yeah, weird. I'd rather have me. small ears than enormous ears. <clears throat> I would agree with that. Yeah. I would agree with that. Oh, uh, do, do, do. All right, we got it. Yeah. Oh, all right, we got it. I struggle with that sometimes. One or two more. Milton's.com, by the way. Please get moving there right now. <clears throat> Can we get a wellness check on Trent? I'm a little concerned. If, if I'm not going to lie to you, you know, you and I might actually have a real conversation about this. But I, I'm actually, I would like to. I'm actually, I like Trent. He's a good guy. I think this is what happens: is sometimes people jump into the world and they don't understand. A lot of it is we're just kind of having some fun here. You can't overthink it. Twitter is so wild. <laughs> I it thought is. the Discord was a cesspool. What have you done? Twitter like you guys are bonded. You're blaming me for Trent? What, what did I do? I didn't I didn't birth him. You created this world, Kirk. I know. I do think about that sometimes, mm-hmm. Jay. It is, a, it is a regret. You yeah. need like a disclaimer. You need one of those suicide disclaimers like that are the books or like a sex one. A There's sex dicks disclaimer. and stuff in this oh. podcast. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Be prepared. That's actually not the worst idea. Thanks. Mm-hmm. We, yeah, maybe we could do that at the start of the show. Yeah. It's a shame you speak to pe- only people that can't make their own decisions. <laughs> it's hard. It's not. It's, it's a burden, Mike. Do we still have the, hey, uh, Amazon thing at the beginning or no? You do. We do we still have oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. Fantastic. Hello. It was nice, though, when Dave was playing uh, whatever, some show the other night. It was like Jeff D. Lowe saying, hey, Amazon listeners, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, we should mix it up. Like, we should be on each other's shows. Right. Doing it, I think. That'd be mm. nice. Hello. Hey, uh, Kirk. I was, I've been watching this documentary on Netflix called Evil Genius. Uh, it's about. Do you remember that pizza bomber, uh, the pizza delivery guy who I had a bomb strapped to his chest, and it was just... yeah. I watched it. He did. Uh-huh. Uh, I was. I wonder if you noticed this. Uh, so the guy was a pizza delivery driver, right? Do you mm-hmm. know who he worked for? I don't remember. I saw it a while ago. Mama Mia's. I'm not even. Ki- I'm not, kidding you not. It's called Mama Mia's. Pizza <laughs> oh really? Right? There you go. Oh, I yeah. Sense. So they were behind it the whole time. We should have known. Shame on us, I guess, right? You don't talk that shit anymore. Thanks. For me. <laughs> He's a good buddy of mine. <laughs> Do you really? Of course. Oh, my God. I've been friends for many years. He's not with that witch, is he? <laughs> he is. Oh, my God. Mamma Mia is, is a very popular pizza place. That's probably one of the most common, I yeah. would think. Name or place, you're saying? 
common names for a pizza place or Italian, there's right? one, or Italian restaurant. Cause that, oh, for sure. Oh, yeah, that chain of, is only yeah. like five restaurants or whatever, but there's a Mamma Mia's and a bunch of different. Yeah. Well, think about it. I mean, that's an easy. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's not a surprise, but that's the only one that's killed people. I believe as far as I know. Yes. Yeah, he's long gone from there, right? Oh yes. Is he working still? Oh yes. Amazing. Is that the only one in what Massachusetts? Country? Uh, no, there's five. No, it's a little chain. Five or six, yeah. yeah, yeah but even even like outside of the chain, I bet there's all like local little. Oh, that I don't know. That, yeah, I don't know. There's no way to find out. Hello, yeah. God knows I do care. <laughs> Hello, five oh eight. Hey guys, I know we've uh, kind of hammered the Tony Maz thing to death here, but I think you're overlooking the biggest fact, which is that Dave Cullinane was featured on Black Sports Online. <laughs> oh, is that true? <laughs> really? It was inevitable, really. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I don't like reposted the TMZ one, but uh, your boy Robert Little. I forgot about Dave Robert Cullinane on Black yeah. Sports Online. It's to- I mean, I, thought, I never thought I'd utter. I thought it would hit that, and then TMZ because I thought that's how it works typically. He gets it, and then TMZ puts it on. Yeah, so I thought maybe it did. We don't know. No, Fox News was the first that I saw, and oh. then TMZ. I can see it's already quieting now, which is good. Yeah, I'm guessing Fox News was anti you. There was no uh, context, just like my daughter. No, it was they kind of like the story. Like I was surprised. Should, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. No, I think you kind of, I think, you know, I think Tony's going to get through this one, I think. By the way, to get everyone off pins and needles, Shell Silverstein. Fuck are you talking about? That's the author I was thinking of the other day. It was on the What are you talking tip about? Oh, we were talking about Raul Dahl? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I was thinking of someone, and a lot of people pointed it out, but it was. I wanted to answer everyone. It was Shell Silverstein. Oh, good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Steve's least favorite. So, did you. <laughs> yeah. When you were going through your shit, like Murchison was the only activist, right? No, there were others. There I were mean, others. But he was calling? the most prominent, yeah. Yeah, because this is like this, this one organization I've never heard it of. It seems like weak ass. Yeah. This seems like. Are they recruiting him? Um, I don't care. I don't need to be recruited by anyone. I'd recruit you wouldn't, them. You, I could see you doing some work for them, though, offline. You're solo. No, 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 I'm not an activist. <clears throat> you should be teaching yeah. a class on how to do it, though. I'm a journalist. You should be teaching a class. Well, clearly, I know how to execute. Ladies and gentlemen, you can call me Mr. Cullinane. Yeah. That's right. But I'm, I, I am personally calling on the, oh. that coalition to stand down. Oh, good move. I don't know if my stand words by, mean anything. As a great man once said. As, right. a, as a journalist, <laughs> uh-huh. stand down. I think that's... I He's think been that's, through enough. That's the right play. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Calling off the dogs. Hello? Yes. Do you think Jeff Cullinane? <laughs> okay, all right. Go ahead. I want you. Dave is the smartest in the family. He's the smartest. <laughs> I'm second smartest, though. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, go, go ahead, Jack. <laughs> it took Mike a while, ironically, but <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. He's not, the, he's not the strongest, Kurt. I'm the strongest. You have strength. People even say I have special kind of strength. Yeah, I, I get it, Jack. I understand the joke, Jack. Yeah, yeah, I understand. Uh-huh. Uh, what kind of son is Dave? I gotta been? go full oh. time over. What was that, Jack? Full time over. I gotta go. Okay, Jack. Thank you for calling. Full yeah. time over. I gotta go. I gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Your old man, Dave. Do you think that consent is... for your father was legal? I guess is what I'm wondering after that phone call. It's a good question. <laughs> it's worth asking. <laughs> I can only imagine his face. But I'm picturing it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The ones who had a notion, a notion deep inside. Hello. 731. Nope. Oh, there, goodbye. That's it? One more. Now I'll take the last one. I'm sure this will be fantastic. Hello. Kirk, what's up? It's Nipples. I had a golf question for you. It's who? <laughs> it's Nipples. <laughs> Oh, nipples? Nip- nipples. Oh, nipples. How are you? I think it's nickels. I was like, who is this person? Yeah. No, nipples with a Z. No, I understand. I've seen, <laughs> I've, I've seen the shirt. I've seen the shirt. I have seen the shirt. Don't you understand? Um, I've been playing this new course, Kirk, and I've been having some trouble on the back nine. Have you ever played the links at Alba's ass? Oh, boy. <laughs> <I have. laughs> Uh, I no, find that the back nine gets very muddy, and I'm having trouble with club selection. I was thinking about going with the old one iron, if you know what I mean. I've always no, found I, it to be very clean. <laughs> I have no experience in that course, I will say. I will say. But nipples, good luck on it. Have you ever played the front nine? Look <laughs> 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 like, like that he leads with back nine. <laughs> 
I tried. Was Mike. It, he's dirty. <laughs> dirty. Oh, you really tried hard, Dave. You really did. I was clicking <laughs> drop, drop. It's quite all right. <clears throat> well, who knows? Anyway. Uh, Milton's, of course, Social Plaza, Bright Street, Chesterfield Square, Chestnut Hill, Burlington Mall. Three great locations, uh, Milton's.com as well. Get your clothes, uh, suits, buy one, get one free. Suits, make teams that go on. Winter clearance sale is still happening. Uh, so get moving there right now. We have the original sponsor of this show, this crazy show that you heard today, uh, is all really because of Milton's. They've been supportive all through, no matter what. They would supported Tony Maserati during this. If it was, that's a, They are loyal to people they believe are good people. That's good. So go to Milton's. I don't know how they'll feel about Dave now, but. That's interesting, yeah. But they'll be loyal to you, I think. I think so. You, know? you want guys like me on your side. Uh, pff, no kidding. Well, sure yeah. Knew. Well, you can't afford not to. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. it's, it's the way it is now. I'm stuck with them. That's why he's not the... Probably produces golf podcast. I mean, they're right there with me. When this all went down, I was wearing Milton's. So they're right there with me. Is that true? Yep. Wow. They there were all go. over me. <laughs> anyway, Milton's.com. Uh, and BlindMike.net, of course. Thank you. Uh, so Friday, we have Montante in. Yes. Were you oh. saying yesterday you were trying to cancel him? What were you saying before? Oh, he called me yesterday. And About I what? I think he called me on the Tony Maz thing. Just to talk to you? Just to talk to me. Oh, God. And then <laughs> you talked to him The normally? most infuriating part was I was with my kids. Right. And he says, oh, I can hear your kids. They were screaming crazy. I can hear your kids. You can go tend to them. But hold on. I have to tell you a story quick. And it was some bullshit about him and his mom. And he just kept going on for five minutes. Who so gives a fuck? Are was, you friends with him? Like to to, to call you? Um, he was a source, obviously during the sure uh, whatever his name was investigation. <clears throat> I like I like my. Well, listen, I didn't realize there was a time limit on if uh, anybody, not revealing sources. <laughs> it's been three weeks. Well, we did one, it that day. <laughs> if anybody in the world was going to call me, Matate is the one I would take that phone call most. He's he's a funny guy. Anybody in the world? Like in this Cam oh, in Kirkman oh. and Show world? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah. But he's in tomorrow, and so is Julie, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, tomorrow. Oh, Friday, 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 I beg your pardon. Oh, okay. Friday, oh, right. Friday, 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 I beg your pardon. Uh, and so we have the call tomorrow for the golf podcast. And then the Dr. Dan thing. And then we have, okay. All right. So there's a lot going on, as always. <clears throat> um, do you guys think, so you think Tony, worse is over for Tony? I think so, but I said that Monday, too. So I don't know. Well, that's true. Yeah, I think it is. I think this is, he's suspended. Like, they they were fairly proactive, I think. So I yeah. think he's going to yeah. be okay. I think, I think. so, too. Yeah, what time are you dropping the new audio, Dave? Noon? <laughs> I'm not dropping. I have no further information on Tony Maserati. Sure, sure. Yep. Right. Now they apologized, and he's not in studio, so I feel like if something does happen, felt like I felt like want to address it, which is probably the right move. Yeah, I'll get the you upside know? to that. Yeah. <clears throat> and I, just watching a little bit of the show yesterday, I could tell. It seemed to me Jim Murray's the one guy who's like, fuck this. Like, this is stupid. Oh, I imagine he would be. Yeah. yeah. But, but, there's no, but there's nothing. If you want to keep your job, there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. Yep. No, because there's no benefit in that situation zero, where the zero. show's not fighting. It doesn't nope, benefit zero. the third guy to be like, actually, I've got a point. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you it's know? unwinnable. Yeah. So, <clears throat> but anyway, um, uh, thanks to Menders for joining the show and sparring with us. Uh, anybody else? No, right? Nope. I don't think. So Friday with Montante and Julian. Mike's back next week. We may do that Sunday night, Mike, if that's okay. Uh, okay. Or no? Or no, is that not, is not? We can do it Monday. I don't care. If we do Sunday, I'd rather do the other two days, but I could do... This fucking guy. Look at this negotiation. I'm saying I could do the other two days or I could do Monday. I'm sure she was your... Sunday. <laughs> I have plans already. Unbelievable. He'd rather do the two days. Disrespect. Well, fine. What's that? Disrespect. Oh, it's incredible. <laughs> oh, we'll do a Monday. I'm pretty time, flexible. Whatever you Monday. guys what want. How would you like Monday night? <laughs> Jesus Christ. 9.30. Oh, 9.30 <laughs> Monday. We'll do it then. All right. Uh, Blindmike.net. Go there. Subscribe, please. And we will talk to you on Friday. Goodbye. <clears throat>